Uh, it is uh, actually Mailbag Day. It's a marathon mailbag day. We're going to go through everything we've got here in a pile. It may not be such a marathon, though. I'm looking at the pile. Well, with this and the letters, it is quite a bit. Otherwise, this is like a typically, well, what used to be a typically large mailbag. So we may get through it uh, sooner rather than later, I hope. Uh, I've got my fingers crossed that we get through it, you know, by maybe noon because there's a, well, I don't know. Uh, you know what? We'll come back to that in just a minute. The, the fact is, though, I was uh, actually trying to make myself uh, an English muffin uh, so that I could eat something before we start the marathon. Because you kind of pace yourself. you got to carbo load, uh, and uh, even for a mailbag marathon. Uh, so it is 10.03, and I'm going to meet you back here in just a minute or two. Uh, I've already got a coffee going. It's my third one, even though I need at least a dozen more. And... Um, well, we'll get that all sorted out. That the uh, the and then the, the stuff. Okay. All right. We'll be back in a minute. Just a couple minutes late. That's all.
All right. Trying to sneak my way in here without. Oh, oh, I gotta go back out though. Hang on, I gotta go right back out. Thought I could make this all in one trip. But I left all the letters in the kitchen. Uh, so that's not great. Kids, don't eat my English muffins or drink my coffee, okay? I'll be right back. I mean it, I mean it. Don't, don't you dare. Okay. What did I just tell you? What did I just tell you? Huh? Hi, everybody. Okay. Uh, let's check some camera angles and some kittens and uh, all the stuff real quick. See how we're doing here. Take my shoes off. Uh, settle in. Oh, okay. Maybe settle in. Hey, hey, hey. This is not for you. This is, you had breakfast. This is my breakfast. This is, uh, crying out loud, kids. Okay, that's too much. Also, this hat's too much. It's cute. Uh, and I do know um, from, you know, my my extensive history of having studied gnomes that the green hat is for girls and the red hat is for boys. Uh, but I didn't see the red hat. I saw the green one. And I don't care. Who cares? I have to take it off anyway, though, because it's too warm. Nice hat. Um, okay. Hang on now. We're getting there. We are getting there. I'm going to stuff my mouth with some of this before the kittens get to all of it while I'm checking the camera. So excuse me for starting with a little bit of silence. We're super professional here. Let me tell you that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't no. It's cranberry rhubarb jam from West Virginia. I know one of the adopters brought it, but I don't remember now. Mm. And the English muffin is from a gift basket my mom sent. It all comes together. Probably shouldn't be just wolfing it down like this. It's uh, something we should savor a little bit, but hey, who's got time for savoring anything anymore? I'm gonna put my coffee on top of this and put my food on top of this and hope that the kittens don't make that even worse. And you, I just moved for a second and you're right there on the cushion. Huh? You want one of these? You want a cushion? Okay. All right, we got letters, um, which I'd like to get to start with and uh, I just need to find a letter opener get myself sorted here also we typically start with a little bit of news of the week which I guess I can do first off you guys know we had crazy wind out here um, the weather's actually very nice the wind seems to have died down I don't expect any more trouble but uh, our routes to the internet have been kind of acting weird uh, for the last 24 hours they were still acting kind of weird this morning when I got up uh, and uh, who knows if the power is going to go out or anything else. So, you know, if it does, we'll just sort of play it by ear. Um, that reminds me, I want to just take a look and make sure that this is going out over a working route. Is it? What is even going on there? Oh, that's the recording. Okay. And yes, it is. Okay, good. We got that going for us, which is nice. Wow. Well, uh-huh. Oh my goodness, you kids. All right. So if I'm in England and I order a muffin, is this what they're going to bring me? Because I don't think so, somehow. Um, I have no idea why they're called English muffins. Is it maybe more of a New English thing? Should they be called New English muffins? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, I know they're good, though. I don't know if you're supposed to put jam on them, either. When I was a kid, I always had them with butter. Uh, just butter. Uh, so jam on it seems weird, but not, you know. I love jam, so what are you going to do? All right, news of the week. Everybody's fine. Everybody's healthy. Um, all the kittens are doing really well. 
Custard and Ari both seem like they're pretty much back to themselves now after their dental surgeries that they had. And uh, the kittens are all seeming like they're back to themselves. Kahootie is definitely back to herself. She has been running around and playing like nothing. Um, so uh, everybody's good. When it comes to the new mom cat and her kittens upstairs, they're also doing great. Um, they're gaining weight like crazy. Uh, I know I didn't weigh them yesterday, but I did pick them all up and play with them a bit. And so I can feel that they're gaining weight just fine. Uh, their mom had one good poop uh, in amongst all of the uh, not so great poops. Um, but there was one good poop this morning, which was a, a nice surprise because uh, we haven't seen that from her. Uh, I think ever actually since she got here. it seems like that's starting to resolve um, and otherwise she is just doing fine everybody's great yeah that's it that's the only news is everybody's wonderful plus as you know uh, our little boy Hoggy here hey bud Hoggy's adoption is scheduled for tomorrow uh, about noon so his adopter is going to show up around noon and I still haven't even started to sort out the endowments for this class uh, so that is another reason why uh, I hope the mailbag doesn't run too long. I got to sort the endowments. And if I have any energy whatsoever, which seems incredibly unlikely, I'd love to get a picture of this whole family together. I feel like that could be a fun thing. Um, but I don't know uh, if I will manage that or not. Uh, we're just going to have to find out together. Okay. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, I think I should finish this before I start reading because then I won't have my mouth full of stuff while I'm trying to talk to all of you. So let me get one thing out of the way and then the other. Um, but I guess we can start by opening the letter anyway. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's very cute. It's a, it's a, like the kitten's head is sticking out over the reef. So it's a, oh, over the tensel. It's very uh, three dimensional and uh, it makes his head look huge. All right. Come on, Carson. All right, here we go. Finally, 15 minutes late, but moving fast. Oh, it's got music. All right, hang on. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Why did they run though? Mom came over to see what was up and then she saw everybody running and was like, okay, I'm gonna leave too. What is it, you two, it's fine? They are very concerned. Oh. I can see why. All right. It's cat noises. Uh, that's fun, though. There's also a donation to KA right here. Thank you very much. I'm going to put it straight in the box. There we go. Oh, <laughs> that's a cute little instant uh, camera picture uh, of, uh, I think that's Crouton there. And the note says, Mr. A and DJ, Merry Christmas. I'm having a good Christmas time here. There are lots of presents to attack and a tree to chew on. Thank you for my time at the Academy. It was a lot of fun. And my new family is always telling me how much they love me. Here's a present from me. I hope you enjoy the retro style of it. I'll never forget the two of you. Love, Crouton. Aw, that's super sweet. Uh, Mr. A and DJ, Merry Christmas from us and Crouton and Kanga. Hope you have a fantastic holiday. And please say hi to Custard from us from TFB Tech Kitty Girl and Bella Kitty. Oh, that's so sweet, you guys. Thank you very much. I love the uh, the little, it's like a micro Polaroid, though. It's very tiny. And I guess I heard some time ago that Polaroid stopped making Polaroid films. So I guess uh, somebody else picked up the formula. Um, I don't know what's going on there. It's fine. That is uh, extremely retro, though. My goodness. Especially in this world of, you know, everybody with their digital cameras on their phones, ready to go. Weird. It's strange. 
and strange that would be a thing, but it is. All right, uh, let's see. Aw, oh, a very Merry Christmas from the Burns family, Sassy, Tahini, Tahini, Claire, Annie, Rosalind, and George. That's so sweet. Mr. A and DJ, thank you for all you do for the mom cats, kittens, and pragnot, pragnot cats. We feel so fortunate that we were able to adopt Tahini and Flair after their training at the academy. I think that says training. Um, we are, oh, we've made a donation to our local shelter in your honor. Merry Christmas and best wishes for 2023. Well, thank you so much, you guys. That's really sweet. Um, I, I just, I always appreciate when people make a donation to their local shelter, whether it's in our name or not. It's a great thing to do. Uh, although it is, I've got to say, greater when it's in our name. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for that. All right. This has got some cute little stickers on it that say happy holidays and Christmas trees. And on the back, it says season's greetings. And... Oh, happy holidays from Nova Scotia with a lighthouse in the snow. And it says, happy holidays, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, mom, cats, and kittens, wishing you everything wonderful this season and all the best in 2023. Thank you for everything you do every day. Hugs and spoogles from uh, Linda, Lola's mom, and Lola. Thank you very much. That's super sweet. All right. Keep going. This one's got a Shell Silverstein Giving Tree uh, stamp on it. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that was a thing. It's been a long time since I read that. Oh, this is, uh, it's got little de reindeer on the front and some, uh, what is that? Uh, some sort of a red berries in a fir tree. So I don't know. Um, some of, the, oh, it says for a special couple, some of the best gifts of Christmas aren't the ones we hold in our hands, but the ones we feel in our hearts. Hope the season brings both of you joys to remember again and again. That's pretty sweet. Also, here we have Fawcett and Ace, um, and we've got Deer, uh, Mr. A, and Dr. DJ, and faculty wishing you a very Merry Christmas, and thank you for all you do at the Academy. We appreciate all the TLC and everything you do. Happy Holidays and New Year uh, from Dean and Renee and Fossi Bella and Ace. Well, thank you so much. That is super sweet. It's nice to hear from you guys. And uh, it's cute to see the picture of both of them, Fawcett and Ace, both KA alums. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that. Okie dokie. Uh, wishing you a peachy Christmas. And it is a giant peach with uh, Christmas tree ornaments strung out on it. And it says to Mr. A, DJ faculty in the KA community, Merry Christmas from the Peach State. Uh, from uh, Lisa and Coley, uh, Slime Kitty, and, is, that, is that how you say your name? I guess I didn't know your uh, actual name. Slime Kitty and Wrench Cat on Discord. And the Fur Kids, Oreo, Ivy, Lena, Noodle, and Meow. Those are great names too. And then there's a couple other things here. Bonus stickers from Wrench Cat. For your laptops. Oh, wow. I didn't know you had a logo and everything. Wrench Cat Designs with a wrench and a cat. WrenchCatDesigns.com wood sculpture. And I know uh, from uh, the cat tree parts that you sent me that you are really good at what you do. So uh, WrenchCatDesigns.com. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. And uh, thank you for the stickers to add to my laptop. I'm going to set those aside so that they actually go into my sticker collection which uh, every time it comes up, I do talk about how I'm planning on just covering my laptop in stickers. And uh, so far, it's just I'm still in the collection phase for some reason, even though I probably have enough to do it. I guess, you know, one thing at a time. Okay, uh, next up, we've got a card that's got a bunch of cats wearing Christmas uh, attire. We've got scarves and hats and, uh, well, scarves and hats mostly. It says, tis the season. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays, Mr. A, DJ Ari, Logan, Custard, Maggie, Eddie, Mom Cats, and Tinies from Ghostly One and Chloe. Well, thank you, Ghostly One and Chloe. Much appreciated. It's a very cute card. All right, this one says card only, and it also says Australia. There's a stamp here from Australia. It's very cool. It's like a stained glass with an angel. Uh, super awesome. Let's see what we got here. 
the stamps from Australia anyway. Ooh, wow. Uh, it's a cool, like, uh, pen and ink of, or maybe that's a, a colored pencil. Uh, hard to say. Anyway, it's a cat playing in a Christmas tree causing a real mess. Uh, Slinky Malinky's Christmas Crackers. Okay, the most rapscallion cat of all loves the twinkle and tinsel of Christmas. <laughs> Sounds like quite a character. Dear Mr. A, DJ, and K now, may the frivolity of cats and the joy of Christmas combine into joyous, chaotic fun this festive season with, with love from Mary, Mez, Apollo, and Starbuck. Excuse me. Thank you, Mez. Very cute card. Uh, and this one is ooh, sealed with a sticker that says, Love Muggins and Teeny Tiny. Love Muggins and Teeny Tiny. Muggins and Teeny Tiny. Great, great names. Great together. Uh, and here we have Merry Everything, Love Muggins, and Teeny Tiny, Mr. A and DJ, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, our mom's, uh, our mom's granny, mom and granny, I see, our mom and granny are avid KA YouTubers, and we watch too, mostly Teeny Tiny, we love watching the kittens play and listening to Mr. A ramble, best wishes to all, Love Muggins and Teeny Tiny, perfect, that's a very cute picture of the two of them together as well. Thank you very much. Okay. More Christmas cards. This one says joy with some gold foil on a wreath. And it says, in every smile, every moment, every memory, hope you feel all the joy of Christmas. Love, Jennifer. Thank you, Jennifer. That's super sweet. Right to the point. I like that too. Okay. Oh, this one's from Poland and it's written in silver ink. How cool is that? Uh, I'll show you the front just because. A couple really cool stamps on it too. But that silver ink, wow, that's that's very awesome. Nice handwriting as well. All right, let's see here. Ooh, oh wow, this card's also very pretty. It's uh, it seems like this is the actual art. I need to I need to hang on to this. This is not just a card. Uh, it is a robin, I think, on a tree of berries, and it's signed by the artist and look how beautiful that is oh my goodness that's just lovely and it says here dear mr a and dj dr dj happy hall howl of the days uh i hope this festive season brings you lots of kitten hugs and kisses we all know there's nothing better than that i wish that you faculty and every mom cat and kitten in the academy have peaceful happy holidays best wishes and I think it's Anne. I don't. I don't know your real name. Uh, it says at aliens wear sunglasses on Discord, though we all know. And uh, thank you for the original artwork. My goodness, I feel completely blessed. It's a it's a card and a Christmas present all in one, and it's beautiful. And I'm going to put it back in the beautiful envelope so it doesn't get damaged. I hope. I'm going to set it up here next to my coffee, but not too close. Uh, because that's got to go someplace special. Thank you so much for that. Okay, this one's heavy for a card. Let's find out why it would be heavy. Also sealed with a cat. It's uh, thick. Still heavy. All right. It says, Meowy Christmas. A very simple little uh, kitten wearing a Christmas hat. I love it. It's, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, I don't know, plain and, uh, uh, you know, sort of, void of extra frivolity and uh, extra stuff and it just really makes the point and the little red hat sets it off so well uh, a lot like the way we decorate our house although the word is just failing me for some reason and there is a starbucks card here too for mr a and dj thank you so much for that from amy t and family p.s take some time to relax with some starbucks okay and you say mr a dr dj and all the felines at kitten academy have a very meowy cat miss and a wonderful new year. May all the mom cats and kittens find their perfect forever families. Faculty, teach them well. And Maggie, let's rein in the sass a little. Ha <laughs> ha. With lots of spoogles, Amy T, Lucy, and Aries. Oh, wow. That's uh, Aries like our Ari, uh, Ari uh, I guess. Anyway, very cool. I mean, not it's not from our Ari, but it's just another cat named the same thing. How about it? Okie dokie. Uh, thank you, by the way, for the uh, Starbucks gift certificate. That will definitely be put to good use. Oh, here we have an envelope in an envelope. Ooh, envelopes. Okay, maybe it's envelopes all the way down. Look at that. It says KA Family. 
on the inside envelope, which is very nice. Uh, made out of some quality feeling paper here. And inside that, ooh, oh, I see why. It's a actual needlepoint work here. Uh, it looks like a little cross stitch of a cat. And it says, Merry Christmas to the entire KA family from Karen and Rich. Well, look at that. It's another original, I believe, original artwork. Yes, Karen's Cards 2022. That's so cool. Okay, now I'm going to have to keep this inner envelope at least. Um, and there's a note as well. Wow, look at that. So much actual artwork in today's mailbag. I love it. Uh, Dear Kitten Academy family, greetings from snowy Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. You may not know where we are located, but we sure know where to find you. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, wow, that sounded vaguely threatening. As I type this letter, we're enjoying a sunny and calm, but alas, well below freezing afternoon. Winter conditions arrived a bit early this year, but nothing we cannot handle or have not seen before. Just wanted to thank you, Chris and DJ, those behind the scenes minions, and of course, all the on-screen stars of the show. You bring us continual happy, funny, and aw shucks moments that get us through the day and night when we should be sleeping, but there are leaping, playing kittens to watch, even if the lights <clears throat> have been turned off in the main room and cats should be snoozing too. My husband and I are former cat parents. Way back in 89, we adopted a kitten from our local humane society and had her for just over 20 years. We couldn't bring ourselves to adopt another. Her purr was the best. So now we fill our hearts with you all. Have been regular channel watchers for years, going well back to your former house, including the times when Jimmy helped out when you were away. We're also Discorders, just lurkers, but sure enjoy the extra photos and info, including updates on Academy graduates. As for the enclosed card, COVID restrictions have given us lots of time at home to enjoy various hobbies, including counted cross stitch. Chose this one to make it as it reminded us of Bessie. Who can forget her pure joy at just being a cat? To close, we wish season's greetings to the entire Kitten Academy family, both people and pets, no matter how and with whom you choose to celebrate. We hope it is good for all, filled with lots of love, food, and especially cats. Gratefully, Karen and Rich. Well, Karen and Rich, thank you so much. That is really sweet. I love the cross stitch of, we're just going to say it's of Bessie. Why not? It doesn't have to just remind you. And uh, just like <clears throat> the aliens wear sunglasses art, I am going to put this aside um, in the nice envelope and make sure that this goes with the artwork instead of with the cards. There we go. Thank you very, very much for that. <clears throat> All right, this one has the name Kitten Fangirl right on the outside. I like that in the return address, Kitten Fangirl. And it is a kitten wrapped up in a string of lights. <laughs> okay, good job, buddy. Good job, mayhem, causing some mayhem. Uh, with a with a, actually a topper on top of a star um, stuck on the top of its head, and it says Meowy Christmas. Oh, wow, um, another gift card, a Visa gift card. Thank you very much for the donation, um, Kitten Fangirl. And it says, Meowy Christmas and a perfect new year. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, uh, Christmas time, okay, anytime is a lovely time for kittens. Enclosed is a little something to use as you see fit. Please give the Kahooligans, Tiny Tubs, and Faculty Spoogles for me. It was so funny to see this card on Mailbag already. I bought this last year. <laughs> Happy holidays, kitten fangirl. All right, well, we'll say you were the first one then, even though I think this is the third one. Uh, it's a nice card, though. I can see why people like it. Okay, uh, thank you so much, kitten fangirl, and thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate that. Okie dokie. This is a little red-breasted bird. Uh, maybe the same one as the kittens wear, I mean, the aliens wear sunglasses. Kittens wear sunglasses. Aliens wear sunglasses card. Um, I, I'm not familiar with what this is, though. This one's definitely not a robin, um, I, I don't think, uh, unless it's extremely abstract robin. That doesn't seem that way. Um, but I don't know what it is. So some sort of little finch at any rate. And it says on the inside, may the beauty of nature fill your heart with peace and joy throughout the year. Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty, kittens. I've been writing my Christmas cards during Thimble's labor, and number two just arrived. Oh, well, you had a long time to write those cards, didn't you? Uh, whew, it's good to see beautiful, healthy kittens. I hope you and everyone in KA land have a happy holidays and a wonderful 2023 from Rhodey Ann. Well, thank you, Rhodey Ann. We all know you, um, and uh, I really appreciate that. 
that was quite a long labor. I don't mind saying uh, I was really exhausted by the end of it myself. And I wasn't even doing that much. Okay, uh, this is a wonderful card. It says, we wish you a meowy Christmas with these uh, these cats. I guess there's three cats. And there it's wonderful photos of these three cats. It says, with love from Athena, Hoshi, Phoenix, uh, MacDooglogger, and Luki, and they're humans. Wow, five cats. Okay. I guess it's just one picture of each then. So uh, you can see we've got three of them here in this. we got this guy over here. And this one biting the Christmas tree. Great photos. My goodness. We wish you a meowy Christmas. Thank you so much. All right. Cool. Hey, look, that's the card segment of Mailbag today, and it is 10.30, so not doing too poorly yet. <clears throat> Let's see here. Let's get these cards set to one side since they're just knocking them over anyway. Let me move over the first pile of boxes. I think we're going to go a little bit kind of out of order here because the first pile of boxes that I can reach is going to be the more recent stuff where the stuff that was held over from last week is kind of buried at the bottom now. But uh, we're going to go through the whole pile either way. So I guess, uh, you know, what order we go in isn't as important as it, I hope. Oh, wow. There's a box here with some camera directions on it. I guess we better bring that over. Let's just slide it on over. Here we go. It says point this side toward camera. Well, of course. There we go. Point that side towards the camera. There's also some, some stickers here. So we can do the same thing for them until, uh, until we get to them. There we go. Let's just start like that. I think that's okay. We're going to go with that. Uh, wow. Everybody likes this little thing, this little bean. Hi. Hi. How are you doing, Flip Flam? How's your belly? Huh? It sounds like a little complaint. I should be more careful picking you up, but you look good. It's a nice little suture. Not even a suture. It's, uh, they've, they've been using the glue for these now, and I think that really works out well uh, for kittens and mom cats both. So that's a nice uh, change that's been happening to that our bet. Goody, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? You're making all these noises. It's so hard to tell what she's looking at ever, or what she's she's thinking about, because they're kind of just kind of it doesn't just tilt. She's got a, a real tendency to kind of like look off to one side too, um, which I'm sure is, you know, the same thing going on. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's more than just a little tilt. It's very cute though. It's, it's charming. I think. Okay. Let's see here. Sometimes it makes it a little difficult to tell what it is she's thinking though. It doesn't always look like she's thinking. Yes. That's her. She's making all this. I mean, that was me imitating her, but she's just walking around chirping. Hi. Hi, Chirpy. What's up? Come here. Come here, Chirpy. Come sit in my lap and talk to me. Well, let's open something here. Uh, we'll start right on with whatever this is. This is, uh, all right, nothing on the outside. This is the script anyway. It's just a post office box. Let's see what's in it. That reminds me, there was one box that I picked up that wasn't for us. It was mixed in with our stuff at the post office, but when I got home, I realized it wasn't ours. And uh, I didn't have time to bring it back, so there was a phone number on it, though, on the box. It was printed on the shipping label, so I just called the number, and I left them a message, and I said, look, you know, you're probably local. Uh, I got some mail for your post office box, but I don't have time to bring it back today. So if it's important for you for Christmas, I'm putting it on the front porch, uh, I may not be able to answer the door. I may not be able to answer the phone, but here's my address. Here's my phone number. Uh, stop by and grab it. So if you hear somebody ringing the doorbell during mailbag uh, and taking away a package, that's that's what that's all about. I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but I thought I'd just mention it in advance and we can all kind of keep uh, an ear out to see if it does in fact happen. All right, let's see. Well, there's not a note in here, or maybe there is inside this piece of wrapping, but there, I didn't see another note anywhere. But it looks like some treats of some sort. Oh, wow, it is some treats. Oh, oh, hey, look at that. Well, I was just talking about the fact that uh, we got four different kinds of Terry's chocolate oranges, and uh, I thought that I'd seen them all now that we saw the ones with the Pop Rocks in them. By the way, it's all it's all very good. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong with chocolate, right? There's just no way to get it wrong. Uh, so 
Um, I said I thought we'd seen them all, but here are the kinds I haven't seen yet. Uh, we've got, uh, are they the same? Yes, I think they are the same. There's nothing here to indicate that these are different, but they are white chocolate, a white chocolate orange. Uh, white chocolate orange, yeah, that's two colors. Uh, that's two colors. Um, white chocolate orange, I don't think I've ever had white chocolate that was yeah, flavored uh, as such. So that should be super interesting. And I appreciate it. So I don't know who sent it though. There's not a, uh, there's not a note. There was a name on the outside. Uh, so we'll just say S, thank you, S, that's all I know. Uh, but if you are someone that's on our Discord or something, uh, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Now, surely I've seen the complete selection of Terry's uh, chocolate oranges? Question mark. Maybe I should just look on their website. You don't have to send me all the chocolate. I have a computer uh, that sometimes even works. So I could go Google them. Uh, I guess that just didn't occur to me. Okay, uh, let's see here. We're going to open this big one next. Might give us a place to start putting things. Maybe. Meow. You just have so much to say this morning, Goons. You're just a little chirpy bird. I, oh, I recognize that this is immediately. I can't even see the whole thing. But uh, this pattern of material, all I can see is a little bit of the pattern. And I know it is a princess tint. It's got to be what it is. Oh, and there's a note right on top. Perfect. Oh, a note and a note. That's two notes. Okay, let's check the note first. <clears throat> I love it. Uh, from Castata, of course, the original discoverer of the Princess Tent. So that makes too much sense. Thank you. Oh, Mr. A and DJ, thank you so much for all you do for the kittens and mom cats. The love you give them shows as they grow and go on to their forever homes. The community you started is the best community ever. It is so nice to come home from a long day and be able to watch something positive and to talk with people from all over the world. Sometimes I'll come home and turn on chat and I'm always laughing or giggling to what's being said. The gifts can be just hysterical and will make either bad day good or continue a good day. I love everyone in the community and I'm so thankful I've met wonderful people from everywhere. Thank you again. You both are the best. I hope you both have a great 2023. In the box, I've pretty much labeled everything. If there isn't a name, then it's for you, as you see fit, for the Academy. Uh, sign Castata. Oops, one more thing. Uh, the different size rubber band bags are for you and DJ. I get all different size bags from vendors, and I think they are great for pills or medicines that the uh, animals need, especially like in your situation. If more than one kitten or mama cat needs meds, thought you might be able to use some, and I can send more if you find them useful. Oh, well, that sounds cool. I'm always looking for something new to help keep organized, which has become more important than ever, more difficult than ever as well. <laughs> uh, but these days, if I don't put things in a, in a well-defined location, uh, then they're just gone forever. So uh, this is cute. This says, it's a cow uh, dressed up in a hoodie, and it says winky, which obviously would mean hoodwink, especially given the fact that it is wearing a hoodie with a hood. That is way too cute. Uh, good wink. All right. Uh, this is a hog. Uh, no, it's not a hog. It's a cow, too, but it's a big cow. Uh, and it's, oh, it's very cool. It says it's, it was already open, so I thought it was easy to take it out. It's a cow, little horns, and this is for hog wash, of course. It's very cute, and I hope he wants to snuggle with it. I'm going to put that right back in the plastic, though, so it's labeled. Excellent. Okay, that's for hog wash. Here we have, oh, a box of hair ties for Custaroo. He's been sharing those with the kittens a lot lately, too, and they work out pretty well. Uh, the princess bed that I saw the, the material for right off the bat, there's actually two of those here. Brand new princess, I call them princess beds. They're princess, they're tents. It's basically a, a tent for cat. Uh, the cats love to run in and out of them and play with them. I don't think these kids ever got one, did they? Not at all. Wow, that's a bit of an oversight. I'll have to bring that. I think we've got some that are already in use downstairs. So I'll have to bring one of those up. Look at this. Is that Hoodwink on the, just sleeping in front of the fireplace? What a, what a picture on the blanket. That's very cute. I'm actually not getting a great photo of it, but it's super cute. Okay, there we go. All right. Whew. Why does it feel so warm in here? Uh, let me check that real quick while I'm distracted in the middle of your box here. Uh, 
don't even say it's so warm in here. Of course, the thermostat's not in this room. Hmm. All right, so uh, carrying on here, we have, oh, for Flim Flam, we have a tiny cow. That's super cute too, a little tiny soft cow. They all get cows. I see a theme here, and for Mayhem, uh, this one actually kind of resembles Mayhem, all the way to having a little black tuft on its head. So that's cute too. All right, I think that's all. Oh wait, one more. Yes, there we go. Bam, it says, and that's yet another style of little tiny cow. That's so cute, all right. Uh, now, you sent uh, toys and, oh, look at that. This is nice. These are the Hexbug Nano, uh, but it's a pack of five, and one of them is a different model. It's like an elongated one that says it's two times faster. Hmm. Who knew? I, I haven't seen that one before. These are also kind of the original, uh, not original, but the actual hex bugs, not the ones that are sold for cats. Not that they're, they're the exact same thing. The ones for cats just have a toy tied to the back, which never lasts long anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so, um, but the, they've got weird little designs on them and stuff, and they look super robotic. I actually like that quite a bit. I think that's super cool. So that's one for each of the kids. We'll have to see who gets the faster one. And there's actually a weird little bug, hex bug, with an antenna on the front called hex bug ant. And uh, it's got uh, these little circular wheel legs on it. Look like it would climb on stuff if it had something to climb on. And that says it is for cahoots. So they all get a little techie toy. I love techie toys. Um, there are more cat toys in here, but I'm not going to try to go in order. We're going to just uh, jump around here. So we have Linder orange truffles. Lindor, lint, Lindor, lint, uh, you know lint. Uh, lint, lint, like pocket lint, like belly button lint? No, uh, L-I-N-D-T, lint, with a D in there. I can't pronounce that. Uh, I tried, though. So they have an orange truffle. I don't think I've ever seen an orange truffle from them before, but that sounds cool. Plus a Ghirardelli Intense Dark Raspberry Bar. That's awesome. I love chocolate with stuff in it. And a Lint Excellence Intense Orange Dark Chocolate. Awesome. So much orange chocolate. That's a good combination. Here we have Godiva. Oh, my goodness. That was uh, uh, always a favorite of mine when I lived near to a Godiva store. I would always drop in. They'd always have fresh uh, chocolate-covered strawberries. Very yummy stuff. Anyway, um, Godiva uh, Masterpieces, an assortment of legendary chocolates. Oh my goodness, that should be fun and nostalgic. Uh, here we have Walker's Salted Caramel and Chocolate Chunk Shortbread. I don't think I've seen that before, but that sounds like shortbread I can really dig into. Here we have some Walker's Pure Butter Shortbread in various shapes. Uh, it says it's for DJ there. We'll see whether she gets back in time to have any of it <laughs> before it's gone. Okay, here we have some more cat treats. We have delectable squeeze-ups for Eddie. We have delectable squeeze-ups for Maggie. So sweet that they get, each get their own. That's adorable. We have Ari gets lickable cat treats, chicken puree. Oh, the country kitchen for cats. I have not heard of that particular brand before. Also for Ari, more of that except salmon flavored. We have Fancy Feast Savory Treats, little, uh, I think these are sort of dry treats. We have a whole stack of uh, Fancy Feast Filets, which are great for, oh, some of them are labeled. This one's Cahoots, Cahoots, uh, Cahoots, okay, good. She does like, I mean, she'll eat anything though. Cahoots is so food motivated. Uh, she, she really will eat anything she can eat. So these are endowments for cahoots. I need to start organizing this stuff a little bit. Right now, I guess this is a pile of endowments, though, so that we can keep going with. This is faculty stuff. That we can keep going with. Okay, there we go. For now, just piles, and then we'll start getting organized as soon as we can. This is a uh, suction cup toy with a fish on it. It says wand buddies with a Z, so you know it's cool. That should be fun to stick on a door or something. Uh, I'll put it back here in that pile for now. There we go. A Yao catnip pillow. A cute little pink Yao catnip pillow. Not labeled for anybody in particular, but those are fun little catnip pillows. Oh, there's a couple more in here as well. Look at that. Okay, there's another one right there. 
There's more. There's still more. Oh, it keeps going. Here is a bag of those little worm toys that Logan loves, and it's labeled for Logan, plus an extra one for the Kahooligans. So Kahooligans can go here. Logan's can go right here. I know those piles are very close to each other. That's a problem. Uh, we have Shiba Meaty Tender Sticks. That's a good treat to have on hand because uh, they're easier to, you don't have to go wash your hands afterwards like you do with some other treats. They're basically like little uh, Slim Jims for cats. So uh, you can snap into that. Uh, I'm going to put those here in this pile of treats. Uh, actually here. This box can be the box of uh, random treats. There we go. That. Getting more organized. And this bag can hold the packing material for the moment. I'm sure we will outgrow that almost immediately. All right. We have some long mice with tails, uh, stripy long mice with tails. We've got a few of those. Great toys. We have this adorable little hamster toy, too. I love these things. Uh, I don't know if the cats, uh, I don't know if I've seen anybody make it their favorite toy. I know they get played with. He's got a good rattle in him, and he looks super cute. That right there next to mayhem. Here we have bubblegum toys. All right, bubblegum. What do you think of that? With some ribbons on it, that's fun. Uh, we have another fancy feast treat, which goes there in the box we just started. We got that. Another fillet for cahoots. Oh, I see these were rubber banded together, but that didn't stay. That's fine. They each individually say cahoots on them, so that's good. We have a bunch of tiny mice that say they contain silver vine and catnip. Well, I don't know if I've seen the fact that these contain uh, silver vine before. Maybe that's a new addition. Maybe they have all the time, and I just, I'm just thinking it's new. Anyway, that's cute. And then finally, we have the uh, bags that you were talking about. Oh, I see. It's a bunch of little Ziploc baggies to put meds and things into. Well, that is handy. I'm going to put that in, in the drawer with our like sort of medication supplies. And uh, I think that, that probably will go to good use. We'll find out. For now, I'm going to put them right there. Okay, now we have a clear box, which I think would be good to just start stacking these endowments into. So let's do that. Oh, man, I am not looking forward to having to sort all of those out. Of course, I never am, but then once I get into it, it's always fun to see everything again and to, to feel all that sort of mailbag appreciation for these kittens. So it's always fun once I get into it, and I always dread it before then. <laughs> So that's where we are right now. We're in the before dread. Okay, uh, let's put those over there. Those are for the, what is this? All right, uh, well, that's it. Kastana, thank you so much. And thanks for, especially for the new uh, princess tents, which I think we should deploy the old one until it's, oh, if we have an old one, I think we do, uh, until, oh, wait, there's, there's another note here. We didn't get to, right? Because you had two notes. This is a Christmas tree and it is a pop-up Christmas tree. And it says, Mr. A and DJ, we hope you both have a wonderful holiday and great new year. Love, Costada and Mike. Uh, and the kids, Cameron, Grant, and David. Well, thank you so much. And, and this is a really cool Christmas tree with cats playing with the ribbons. Look at that. I usually leave these out for the cats to wreck. This is, they're all so nice. It feels bad to let the cats wreck them, but I guess they're not going to last forever, so might as well let it be a toy. So we'll leave that out for a minute and see if they get to it. All right, this one's got all these very happy looking Christmas kitties on it. Some of them in stockings or on sleds or uh, just wearing Christmas clothes. Oh, oh, thank you, by the way, for all of that, Costana. That's very nice and generous of you. Oh, here we have a note and some very nicely wrapped presents. So uh, let's just see here. Let's see if the note makes it clear what to do because I never know what I'm supposed to do. But I was saying earlier that, that my preference is to take the stuff that is wrapped and put it under our Christmas tree, which is still, I think, to do. But let's see if the note makes it clear. So this says, Merry Christmas with a picture of all your cats on it. And it says, Merry, Merry, wishing you the comfort of friendship, the love of family, the joy of laughter this Christmas and in the new year. Well, thank you so much for that. And there's more. Okay, dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, cats, kittens, and Discord family, happy, merry, everything from Wisconsin. A huge thank you, as always, to you for opening your home to us as we all share in this wonderful family we call Kitten Academy. The care and love every single cat.
receives is simply amazing. To everyone on Discord, thank you so much for all of the fun, smiles, and laughs every single day. I'm so honored to be part of this wonderful community. I hope you enjoy the enclosed gifts. There are some cat toys that can be used as you see fit. I've also enclosed a few treats for you and Dr. DJ. I hope you enjoy them. Lots of hugs from the Frozen Tundra crew. Enjoy a bonus picture of Titus dressed for the snowy weather. That is an amazing photo because he looks, uh, his eyes are, are spectacular. Titus's eyes uh, in, in this picture too. I don't know, if it's probably not going to come through secondhand on the camera, but what a great photo. Wow. Okay. Um, so like I said, though, all of your pictures, uh, pictures, no, all of your gifts are so nicely wrapped. I would like to put them under the tree for um, DJ to see. I'm still hoping that she manages to make it home either on Christmas Day or before Christmas. And we've got some presents under there from uh, from Ruth and Bob as well. To Katie, cats and Christmas, uh, kittens. This is so cute. Look at all of these though. I can tell, I think I know what's in here. I think someone else knows what's in there too. Uh, it's Mr. A, wonderfully wrapped stuff. Uh, this one's not exactly labeled. Maybe this is one that we can open, but it's also very nicely wrapped. And then uh, another little one says to Dr. DJ in the same wrapping. So maybe they go together or maybe that's just one thing. And then a big flat thing that says to KA Cats and Kittens. And I, I can feel the wire in here too. These are just some giveaway cat presents with this rattling and the, the wire in there. Uh, very cute though. So if you, if you don't mind, I'm going to put these under the Christmas tree right now. If you want me to open them, you know, like on camera or immediately, uh, you know how to let me know. But they're so pretty and they look so nice under the Christmas tree. Uh, and I think DJ would appreciate that scene. So, and I do think this tape maybe put these together. Or maybe not. I'm going to pretend like they did, though. There we go. And if not, that's fine, too. We'll figure it out in due time. All right, I don't have any place to put something wonderful like this yet, though. Uh, and also, uh, oh, they're all signed from Frozen Tundra Crew individually. Great, so I don't have to worry about remembering what was what under the tree either. All right, thank you. Those are so pretty. I just, it's so sweet of you to wrap those up. Okay, let's do that. Thank you again, Frozen Tundra Crew. Oh, there's the letters. Okay, let's put that with the letters. Let's put these with the letters. There we go. Put this over here. All right. Okay. Oh, and hey, look, you can use your box now to organize something else. What is it that needs organizing next? Oh, yep. Okay. Good enough. Well, that's something we're going to need a box for soon enough. I'm going to put all the uh, the treats for us in this box right here, since I know you sent some as well. There we go. All right, that'll work for the moment. Slide that right back there. And these, those are going to go someplace else. So you are really wrecking that, buddy. All right, you got that under control, don't you? A little hoggy. Okay, this is two Kitten Academy, and it's got a, a couple of cat stickers and some tape that says deliver by reindeer mail. I'm sure it was. Oh. Oh, okay. Inside we have more wrapped stuff. Oh my goodness! I don't know what to do about all this because I don't. I don't want anybody to feel like I didn't open their stuff. Um, maybe we open the wrapped stuff on a on a, on a uh, stream too, though, so that way nobody's left out. Just some of you might get their stuff opened a little bit later, unless you say specifically, like if you're going to tell me what's in it in the card, or if you say you know open it now or something. Anyway, it says okay to read on stream, so you got that part. And the cat on the front looks very excited. He says, me, wow. All right, yes, that is coming through. Oh, if you're not totally impressed with yourself, you should be. I know I am. You are incredible. Technically not a Christmas card, but it is the perfect sentiment. A very Merry Christmas from K.A. Bless or Cab Bless or, uh, yes, uh, the same question that we've had. But that is the adopter for, uh, let me make sure I got the right pairing. It is Mayhem and Bamboozle, right? I think that is the uh, the case. So Mayhem and Bamboozles adopters sent us a note and it says here, Oh, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all felines, I just wanted to send along a few treats for the holidays. 
I've loved watching Cahoots and her kids grow up. Such a sweet, beautiful, silly family. And now we get to enjoy Thimble and her three new tinies. I'm very excited to learn their names. Uh, thank you so much for taking such good care of all the kittens, mom, cats, non-moms, and faculty. Though Ari could use more pets. A while back, I sent you a Stroop waffle treat made with maple syrup, the coffee version. So I thought I'd send a sample of all the flavors. All right, you do mention what's in the stuff, so that means we can go ahead and open them. Oh, they're not actually wrapped. They're just wrapped up in tissue paper. So, all right, we would have opened them anyway. We got this all figured out. So we got we got rules about this stuff. That's a nice uh, thick bit of tissue paper for the kids to play with too. What is all of this though? This is crazy. Uh, this is. Let's see, um, the Stroopwafel is treat made with maple syrup, the coffee version. That was really yummy, by the way. So here we have slope side syrup, uh, and we've got the maple waffle, cocoa waffle, coffee waffle, lemon waffle, raspberry waffle, and chai waffle. Wow, that's a waffle lot of waffles. <laughs> and also a packet of coffee infused Vermont maple syrup. Uh, which contains 27 milligrams of caffeine. My goodness, that's just what I need is some coffee in my syrup too. I love it. Uh, okay, those are going to be really yummy. That reminds me that uh, I saw a picture from, I think it was Maya Bastet and the scooters went out together in the city and had fresh made stroop waffle, which I didn't even know existed as a thing. I thought they were just all manufactured. Uh, but no, they had, they had like, Stroop waffle made right in front of them on the spot. I want to put this directly into the treat box because I can see it poking around. And if you bit into that uh, syrup, it would be everywhere. Okay, the tiny cat for DJ is actually a set of four tiny nesting dolls. Three more inside. What? I love nesting dolls. Oh, but that's not what this is. This is maybe, or maybe there is. Is that what's in this? Is it that tiny? How is that possible? It's so small. It's like it's beyond the end of a nesting doll by itself. Oh, she is going to love that. Uh, you also sent some Fancy Land Cat Sticky Memo Flags and Pure Maple Sugar Candy. Those are also wonderful. They'll go right in here. But look at the size of this little tiny nesting doll. Uh, I've loved nesting dolls my whole life. I thought they were really cool. and I've never had one. Uh, I think I've barely even seen them in person, but um, my mom sent me a beautiful one that each has a hand-painted cat on it that's the regular size. You know, it's about, the, the outer one is about this tall maybe, and then they go all the way down to about this is the smallest one. And this guy, look at him, how much smaller he is. Uh, and that's the, the outermost one. And it's a little black cat with a mouse. He's got his little claws out, and there's a little white mouse standing in front of him. And if we open him up, oh my goodness, it's the same pattern, uh, but it's another little black cat with a white mouse. And it's just really three of these? How can they be so tiny? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, wait, it, it, uh, this one also has a seam, though. Is it even possible this one doesn't have a mouse? He's getting too small for that kind of detail, but he does have the complete face with his tongue out and everything, just like the bigger ones. Hang on, I gotta see if there's, oh, oh, let's not let him get away from me. Wow, a cat could just swallow him. <laughs> he could just, just go like that. You said there's three here, but I think there might be, there is a fourth, the tiniest one. He's hardly bigger than a grain of rice or a little tiny pea. Wow. Uh, I was just checking, there is a little bit of a seam around the, oh, oh no, no. There's not even a smaller one in here. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it. And it's actually, there's a sticker on the bottom of the outermost one that says made in Russia. So it's actually a Russian nesting doll. Who knew? Anyway, this one is already, you can see the size of a little tiny pea. And if we open him up, oh my gosh, there is another one inside there that is literally the size of a grain of rice. Uh, and I, I can't even see well enough to know if it goes further than that. There, for all I know, there could be a hundred inside this guy uh, at this rate. Look at the, here, I'll show you. I don't want to lose him. He could easily just, I could inhale this guy on accident. It's crazy. Wow. Wow. That is amazing. Uh, now I've got to figure out how to put them all back together. Okay. Well, he's got to go into this one. Oh, DJ is going to 
just flip her lid when she sees this. I am astounded. I've never seen one so tiny. Oh no! Oh no! It got away from me. Okay, hang on. We gotta we gotta be careful with this. Did it go into the wrapping paper? No, it's right there. Okay, let's carefully put these all back together without losing anything. Oh my goodness! I might need tweezers for this operation. Uh, let's see my big fat fingers. Okay. Uh, uh. So tiny. Okay, put him in there. Uh, there's the bottom part there. Nope, that's the top part. So he's upside down. Let's put him in the right way so when DJ opens it, she gets to be just as thrilled and have everything nicely arranged. You go in there. Oh, eh, eh, eh. oh, this is delicate work. Okay, there we go. Put the lid on that little guy. That's five cats. I can't believe it just keeps going like that. That's craziness. Okay. All right. This is the next layer right here. There we go. Yeah. Put him in there. Put this on top. Let's try to get him a little bit aligned. There we go. So the painting lines up. Okay. Wow. These kids, they jump like little kittens. Okay. Yes, he's still filled. All right. Then this one. Back up to the ones that have mice on them now. That is amazing. That's amazing. All right. And then the outermost one. All right. We finally, we got him. There we go. That is so cool. All right. And that's as big as it gets right here. That is, that's, I've got to put that someplace where I'm not going to lose it as a whole even. I don't even want to put it in my pocket because God forbid it should end up in the wash. That would be a tragedy. Um, and if I put it in our closet of stuff, the cabinet where we keep this kind of thing, I'm, I'm worried that I won't remember to show it to her, but I'm going to put it over there anyway, just because it cannot get lost. That's too cool. Hang on. Okay, I put it right up in front, a spot that I kind of tend to look at fairly often, so hopefully I'll see it there, even if I do forget. Uh, that is really something. Wow. Uh, all right, from Cabless. Hey, we'll order you a cab. Uh, let's see how. And then uh, one more thing that's wrapped up here uh, that says cats and kittens. Oh, and it is treats. It's temptations. It's feline greenies, and it is a cat dancer. That's a good toy, too. All right, and a big set of tissue paper for the kittens again. Well, uh, let's see, where were we putting treats? We're putting treats over here. We got that in toys and stuff. And put any oh, kids, wait a minute, what are you doing? Wow, I heard them playing with all this, but I didn't realize that they had actually, yes, they actually got into it. They chewed through the, the squeeze ups and they were trying to lick it through the little tiny chew holes. That's ridiculous. Kids, that is ridiculous. Okay, let's put the rest of these treats in with the treats so that they don't get eaten. And this one, well, I guess you guys earned a treat. A mailbag treat, you, you earned it. You really worked for that. Okay, I'm going to put my shoe on top of this so it stays closed. There we go. Uh, wow, uh, Cadless, K A Bless. Uh, that little tiny Russian, did you really think it was just three? Where is it? Oh, you say four. It's five, though. Three more inside. So you missed the tiniest one that's the size of like a little grain of rice. I almost missed it, too, actually. But that's crazy, and, and it might even go further than that. Uh, I don't know if I read the rest of Oh, I didn't read the rest of your note because it's got some interesting stuff in it, but I was distracted. Okay. It says, um, my cat Daisy wanted to send her favorite treats to share with the students and faculty. She's a bit odd and doesn't like Churu brand, but loves this version. She also wanted me to send one of her favorite toys specifically for Eddie since she has heard he's a big fan. That's true. That is one of Eddie's favorite toys. This is going to be a disgusting mess now because they, they bit through the delectables bag and into the first delectable, which is now torn in the middle and also covered in delectables uh, stuff. You want to lick that, buddy? Okay, help me clean that off so we can get to the rest of it. How do we even, 
Well, now I'm going to have to go wash my fingers because this is going to be a big mess. Okay, you also say, many spoogles from Cablis17 and Daisy. P.S. I've always pronounced my Discord name as K.A. Bless. It's based on my initials name, and it was actually my AOL Instant Messenger screen name way back. Plus, I love that it includes K.A. Well, good. Then I guess we don't have to order you a cab after all because you're not cabless. Oh, that, that, that. Stop trying to break into more. Here, come here. Uh, oh, is this just going to come out the side? What a mess you kids have made. Okay, here, have some of that. There you go. Who else wants some? Ma'am? Right here? There you go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's pretty yummy, huh? No, okay. Help me finish this one. Okay. Here, come over here. Come, oh, meow. Here, there you go. Is this what you're looking for? Uh, it's coming out the side, too. You can see that, right? Ugh, that's gross. Do you see it? Because they bit into it. Well, I, and I heard all that noise, and I'm like, well, they're just playing with wrapping paper. No, it wasn't just wrapping paper at all. It's this, ah, now I dropped it on me. That's fine. I need to wash these pants anyhow. Okay. Ooh, ooh. There you go. There you go. All right, who else? How come now all the kittens aren't here? We're missing a few. Hey, come in. Come in. You guys, don't go back to the package now, okay? This is too messy. This is too messy for mid-mailbag, okay? Your mom's really good at helping me clean up. Uh, K.A. Bless, uh, thank you again so much. That nesting doll is out. Ooh, ooh, that, too, too excited. Okay, that nesting doll is the, the coolest thing. My goodness, DJ is just going to love it. Uh, and then maybe in the longer term, we can put it next to my giant nesting. Ow! Hey, that was a giant chomp. You can't just chomp like that, buddy. All right. Got little needle teeth, too. Just licks. Just licks. So if you chomp, I'm going to take it away like that. You see? You just immediately lose access with the chomps. Your sisters have got it, mostly. Okay, now my hand is covered in this stuff. Here you go. Okay, couldn't let it go to waste, though. Let's take the rest of it, though, and bring it over to the sink real quick and wash my fingers off and rinse it off so that it stops getting chomped on. All right, hang on. I'll be right back again. All right, I think we got that. Oh, here, I was hoping I could find that too. Hang on. There you go. I gotta make sure every piece of the wrapping gets put in the trash, otherwise they'll eat it. We don't want them eating that plastic wrapping at all, do we? So we got it. Okay, all set. Uh, K.A. Bless, all right. Thank you once again. And uh, we will be seeing you when you come to adopt your wonderful kittens. Uh, what is that? The 7th of January. So in about two weeks now. So um, really looking forward to that. And I know you are too. Of course you are. It's, uh, we love it when, uh, when the adopters are people that are already very active on Discord. Uh, that's just that, that's awesome. It's, it's great because not only... Not only because we know we're going to get pictures and stuff, you know, we're going to continue to hear about the cats for sure, but also, um, you know, because we kind of feel like we know you, and uh, that's good too. So I think that should be uh, wonderful. Isn't that right? Okay. All right. This says point the side towards camera, and on the front it says KA Con. It says Poop, Dawes, and Dr. Cats. Plus there's a cat, a joke, and it says Ari. Uh, I guess it's an Ari joke, probably about never being petted. This uh, tree is already, look, they, they haven't knocked down the real tree. Everybody seems so amazed that our real tree has never been knocked down by a cat. Uh, now that I've said that, it will be. Uh, but they knocked down this little tree immediately, and that one's actually attached to the floor. It was. 
Ours is not. Okay, well, stuff written on the side there. I don't see anything on this that's identifiable. So let's see what we got here. It says, the note. Okie dokie, that's someone who knows what's up. And there's a bag inside we will get to in just a moment. Uh, this is heavy. All right, it's thick. It's a, it's a paw print, and the paw print is a cutout showing a Christmas tree and four cats. And they're very cute. I especially love the one that's like sleeping with his paws hanging out of his little frame. I don't know how well you can see that, though, but it's adorable. What a great design. And let's see, that's actually an envelope and a card. Oh, it's another pop-up. This one's a whole cat um thing it's a cat tree with a box with a bridge couple bridges and cats playing it's like a cat playground how cool i think his hat's stuck though hang on is it stuck yeah there we go we got it very cool well, here's another one now that you've knocked down that one it's a little cat playground and a note and the note hmm. dear mr a and dr dj Thank you both so much for another wonderful year of Kitten Academy. The love and help you give the mom cats and kittens are so wonderful, as is the community of people you've brought together. I've enclosed some toys for the faculty and current classes. Please deploy as you see fit. The pop-up card belongs, of course, to Maggie. Well, she's not here to inflict her damage, but it looks like she's got a stand-in. And, you know, they do look an awful lot alike anyway. I think that's the boy. Are you the boy? You look like the boy from behind. You are the boy. You look like the boy from in front, too. Wow, he's already wrecked it. That it took zero minutes. Uh, why, don't, why don't we see if we can stand this tree back up a little bit and somebody else can have a go at it. Wow, and the cats? That, that's very, that's a high level of destruction. Wow, even Maggie doesn't usually go that fast. Okay, uh, some toys. Okay, so you sent, uh, look at this, a beautiful little Christmas bag that would also look good under our tree, but again, you've described everything that's in it in your card, and anyway, it's a bag. So, it, it's, I was going to mention this as I'm driving back from the post office, I heard this. I don't know if you guys can hear it, it's a little quiet. They hear it. Every time that I would like turn in the car or hit a little bump, all of a sudden the bird would start chirping. There's obviously some sort of chirping bird toy in there. Uh, I wonder what the post office people think of that as they're processing the boxes, if it's ever in a place that's quiet enough to hear it, because uh, I definitely heard it in the car. Anyway, uh, the paper lights, ooh, paper lights sound really pretty. The paper lights are for the Academy. These are so pretty. They're little rice paper lights uh, with cat heads on them. That is going to be so beautiful. It's uh, Mr. Ellie Pooh brand, apparently. That's Mr. E-L-L-I-M-R. Sorry, let me start over. It's M-R-E-L-L-I-E-P-O-O-H. Mr. Ellie Pooh uh, with the back end of an elephant. So I guess he actually is an elephant poo. All right, well, you know, we can't, some of us in life, uh, so you take the cards you're dealt. Uh, I, this is so, these are going to be so pretty, and DJ is just going to love them. I wonder if I could put them up, like, along the back of our bed or something uh, and just have them there when she gets home. They're, they're so pretty. I always love, like, rice paper lamps, you know. Uh, they're beautiful. Oh, I know who this is from now because you continue on with the paper lights are for the Academy. I found these when I was at the Bryant Square Park Holiday Market in New York with the scooters. I just talked about this. We were searching for the stand that sells made-to-order waffles. Made-to-order waffles. I can't believe that's a thing. So, so yummy. And ran across a booth with stationery and gifts made of a very special kind of paper. The fibers are sourced from elephant poop. Aren't you glad you don't have to deal with that at KA? Well, that makes too much sense. So I guess it's not even really rice paper. Good thing I didn't try to taste it. Uh, there's more info on the paper in the bag and at www.mrellipoo.com. And about those stroop waffles, the ones you buy from the stores are good, made fresh. They are mind-blowing, hot and gooey, 
and they top them with dark chocolate and have different options for toppings that stick to the chocolate. Marshmallows, salted caramel sprinkles, crushed Oreos, and more. Apparently, they're going to open a brick and mortar store in New York City soon. Hopefully, you'll finally take a day to play in the city when they do. Okay, enough with my Stroopwaffle ramble. I just really wanted to say thank you both again for all that you do and to wish you a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Love and Lobsters from Maya Bastet. Well, Maya, thank you so much. This is super cool. I'm so, it's so sweet. Way better than the lobster likes that you sent us. Um, wow, in Sri Lanka, wild elephants. Okay. Uh, our mission is to put fairly trained paper making and artisan jobs in these conflict areas. Yes, as we know, lots of conflict in Sri Lanka for a long time now. Very cool. Uh, if anybody decides to order from Mr. Ali Poo, there is a coupon code here. The coupon code says get a 10% discount. The code is Holiday Handout. That's all one word. Holiday Handout, just the way it sounds. Okay, uh, I'm still very excited about these lights. But let's see what else is in here. Uh, I got sent a picture of the Stroop Waffles, which is how I knew about that. It reminds me of when I was a kid. You know, one of my very first jobs was at an ice cream shop. And uh, one of the jobs that I was given regularly was to work in the back. Uh, I don't blame them as, as a kid. You did not want me out in front of customers. <laughs> uh, but just to work in the back and uh, make the uh, waffles for the waffle cones. You know, uh, there, there's, a, there's a waffle press that I imagine is exactly like what you use to make a Stroop waffle. Uh, they're very similar kinds of ideas. Um, and the, the waffle press and then... Uh, you would immediately take the waffle out and while it was still hot, there was like this cone shaped, um, it was almost like a giant dreidel, really, that was shaped like more conical though, but with a big handle on the top, like the dreidel. Uh, and you would take that and you would wrap the, you would just sort of like wrap the uh, the waffle in the, the, over the cone thing and make waffle cones. So that's how, that's how it's done. That's the big secret. And uh, that was something I did so many times and just the smell now of, you know, you go into an ice cream shop, if you ever smell that fresh waffle smell, you know, somebody in the back is making those things. And uh, that smell takes me right back. Anyway, uh, okay, here we have a paper bag that is um, catnip infused paper bag. Very cool. We have... What else? Oh, oh, one of... The... One of these is what's making all the way. Okay, so here we have these little, um, uh, what am I looking for? Sloth toys. There we go. I just saw one of these upstairs. I know we've seen these toys before, and one of those sloths is still kicking around. Here's the guy who's making all the noise. You interested in that? Oh, she is interested, but she doesn't know where the noise is coming from. Okay. Oh, this one is also activated. Okay. Yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. So both of these have been in there making noise. That's what that is. They are a little quiet. Um, I guess they've had a lot to say, though. They're probably worn out after a long squawk. Okay, hang on. Uh, oh, it's a shoe paper, but there's something in here somewhere. There it is. Okay, we got it. Mylar balls, of course, the fancy ones. Uh, I don't know if I'm, is a, is a mailbag item when I say like opalescent or pearlescent or something? I don't know, because I know I always describe them that way. Uh, very cute. Thank you so much for all of that. And the tissue paper here. I'm going to put all the tissue paper back in your box. That's how we're going to use this one and have a little mini tissue pit, maybe, until we find a bigger one. Uh, there we go. Kids can play with that a little bit over here. And I can put your note with the Mr. Ellie Poo lights. But I, I really do think I'm going to put these out in the bedroom right away. Uh, and see how long they can stay up there for DJ to enjoy. If I can find a good way to hang them. But I always thought that was a cool look. And uh, I love little rice paper lamps. I'm going to continue to call them rice paper because the truth of what they are is a little hard to take. <laughs> I'm going to have to find some way to string these up where they don't have access to the, the cord, though, because I can see that they are at, at mains voltage. So uh, I'll have to put them up pretty high, I guess. Uh, I'll find a way. For sure. Anyway, those are super cute. Wow. Adorable. I said mains voltage. It's a very British way to describe uh, the uh, electrical voltage that comes from your wall outlet and not, say, an LED voltage that's uh, much easier to have around cats. 
Oh, they are still talking. Uh, I can give her one of these right now if she likes the noise so much. Do you want to try this? Come here, Goody. Goody, what is this? Oh, I see. I see. You want to get it? You want to get it? Here. Here, you got to see me throw it. There it goes. Okay, see if she'll play with that. <laughs> you can't even jump into this box. Like, that was going to get you there, man. Crazy. All right. Uh, good. Oh, hey, I think that means this is the whole pile, which means it's time to bring over another pile. All right, we got we got lots of piles. That's only the first pile. Oh, goodness. Okay. All right, custards. Okay. Well, let's do that. Let's do it. I'm going to also put this coffee away, and I'm going to put these arts in the art cabinet while I'm on my way. So I'll be right back. Don't go, man. Don't go in there. Uh, yeah. Let's take these cards too. Let's bring it to Maggie. She's right out there. She wants some of the plates. So let's give her a card. Well, let's take this. The big box in the corner. Ugh. I think this is going to be some stuff that was from the week before. <laughs> I can get it over here without making everything fall off the top. Oh, oh hey, you get that. Yeah, you attack. Let me sit right here. Oh, don't get sit on. Okay. <sighs> Good. Okay, here we go. Keep rolling. Round two. All right. Oh, the very ugly knife guard. <laughs> it's not that ugly. It could be worse. Oh, whoa, okay, and the note. There goes the note. Oh, goodness. It's everywhere. That flew right out. Okay, the note. Oh, the good thing the pages are numbered. We got this. Dear Mr. A, many thanks again for all you and Dr. DJ do for mom, cats, and kittens who are blessed to join you at Kitten Academy. And also all you do for the KA community, all the close-ups, photo shoots, and the information you share with us on the stream and the chat. What I learned from you helps me with my kitties. Here are some little goodies for you and DJ. All right, well, uh, let's, uh, let's see, there's a card here, too, which we will come to. Uh, you're describing what these are, so, and they're mostly not wrapped with paper, but this one is, look at that, very cute. I keep hearing that chittering thing going. Uh, I love the ribbon you put on here, and it says, Mr. A, it's beautiful, but you say, the shirt is for you, and it's a beautiful place in North Alabama. The logo on it goes... Uh, with your mailbag lunchbox. Oh, all right. Then. Let's take a look. Hang on here. Is this it? Is this the thing you were describing? Uh, Dismal's Canyon, a national natural landmark. Huh. Well, I do see the arrow uh, in the logo, which would go with um, maybe not with this mailbag box, but with. Oh, may the forest be with you. That logo. I see. May the forest be with you. That's cute. I get it. A national natural landmark. Okay. Dismal's Canyon. How cool. Uh, the Silly Socks and Macarons. Is it Macarons? I think that's how you say that. Okay. Uh, there's so much stuff in here. I need to. The Silly Socks must be what's in this one beautiful bag for DJ. Uh, macarons are for DJ. And of course, the chocolates are for you. Okay, hang on. Uh, oh, look at that. It's kittens playing in a dish of water and uh, Christmas trees, blocks in little blocks. Those are very cute. DJ wears fun socks to work. She doesn't wear them mismatched. Uh, I think that's a step too far for her at work uh, as a doctor. 
But the fun socks, I know that she's gotten plenty of comments on her fun socks, so those should be fun for her. Uh, let's see here. This, I, I know, okay, the macarons uh, and silly socks are for DJ, and of course the chocolates are for you, of course. Uh, well, let's see if I can find some of the rest of that, though. Well, hang on. Uh, the Kahooligans carrots are enclosed. It was fun labeling them. I bet it was. Look at that. We got little labels attached to each one. One for mayhem. And uh, Kahoots, carrots, Kahoot, kah kah no, there's no pun there, but I tried. Uh, hoodwink. Hi, who's attacking me and why? Why are you attacking me? What have you got there? Oh, that's a little piece of paper that that uh, nesting doll was in. Flim Flam and Hogwash, and, okay, uh, Bamboozle, perfect. All right, just in time for me to sort out all those endowments as well. Also, we have a Christmas tree for Thimble. Oh, it's very cute. Let's see, um, this is, I'm trying to go through the letter and the box at the same time. It's a challenge, extra challenge, we like that. Uh, this is the chocolates, which must be for me. They are Newhouse Belgium Classic Pralines Assortment. Ooh, wow, that looks really good. I'll put those over here with the food and treats for us. And this, ah, there we go, the macarons. Macarons? Maca, maca something. Uh, these are those, those little cookies that I've seen so many times uh, on the TV, and I never had one in person until just recently someone uh, brought us a box when they adopted kittens. And that was the first time I'd ever actually eaten one, and they I expected them to be like Oreo cookies, and they're not like that at all. They, uh, the outside part is, is its own little texture delight. Uh, they're just wonderful. So that's a stack of these for DJ, and that can also go back there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the chocolates are for you. The Kahooligans carrots aren't close to. It was fun labeling them. The Christmas trees are for both mom cats because every day is like Christmas watching the beautiful kittens that they bring into this world. Aw. I do see there's another one here for Cahoots. That's so sweet of you. There are also churros. Yes, a bag of churros. My Lily's absolute favorite treat for you to distribute as you see fit. But please give lots of them to Thimble. She certainly deserves treats after that labor. Well, we'll see. You know, I haven't actually tried Churu on her yet, but I have tried a lot of treats on her. And she's not a big tree eater. She would prefer to be petted. Uh, but we'll, we'll try it. Maybe this will be the thing that breaks through. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe they will help stimulate her appetite. Merry Christmas from Mr. and Mrs. Carrot Palooza and our Goofy Kitty Gang. Oh, I love that signature. There's one other item in here that you didn't, I don't think, mention specifically. Kitty Scrub Sponge Scratch Free. Wow, um, that's pretty cool. Uh, DJ is always looking for sponges to use at the sink too, so she'll think those are perfect. Uh, let's see, I use a rag. I like to use a rag because I can throw it in the, the, the washing machine and use it again and again. Uh, but DJ is a big fan of sponges, so that's the way to go. And they eventually kind of get gross and you gotta throw them out, you know? Um, these ones might be almost like survive a wash though, because these are more of a plasticky feel. So who knows? They're very pretty. All right, there was a card here too. It says Mr. A and Dr. DJ and the whole Kid Academy family. All right, it's thick too. It might be another pop up card. You kids are over here chewing on everything, playing and everything. What are you in that mini tissue pit? Very pretty cats on the outside. And it is a, oh, it's a type of pop-up card that has a little diorama. Wow. Uh, there's also a little leg here I can use to make sure it continues to stand up, I think. Oh, good. Two legs because it's going to need them. There. That's, that stands it up pretty well. With much love from Robin, Thomas, Max, Lily, Felix, and Trixie, a.k.a. Carrot Palooza! Yes, all those carrots. Uh, that's great. Oops, the little legs came out because I stretched it. All right, hang on, stretching my legs. Very cute. It's a bunch of kittens sitting around a, a nice living room. One of them is even in the Christmas tree, as you can see. So that's a cute little diorama in a car. Okay, so let's put all this with the endowment box, which is right. Oh, 
there, there. I, think, I think I got them all in too at once. That was pretty cool. And then we need a box for generic uh, toys, generic purpose toys. And I think that's what now your box is for. That way we have somewhere to put these that these guys aren't going to be immediately chewing on them. Of course, if there's something they really want, we can just give it to them. But let's package these up for a minute. That's technically for Eddie, but I'll put it in here for a moment. Okay, that'll help. That'll help keep things just a little bit more organized. Good. What is it you guys are playing with so much? They really love that. Uh, there's this weird kind of uh, packing material that's like this paper that's got all these little uh, slits in it so that it can be stretched out. And they are having a lot of fun tearing that. Oh, that up in particular. Okay. And that's what the Russian nesting doll uh, was in. So that is a fun one. Well, thank you so much to the Carrot Palooza crew, all of you. Uh, much appreciated. Okie dokie. Oh, uh, this says, whoa, whoa, okay. NC Craig with three cats is what it says. NC Craig with three cats in the return address. Knife guard, nice. Okay to read on mailbag, nice. This is a, it looks like a bird feeder at a glance. Let's see what it is. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, Merry Christmas to you, faculty, current classes, and to the KA family. Thank you for all that you do and sharing what you do with us, with the mom, cats, and the kittens, faculty, and your lives. Between what you present on YouTube and the connection on Discord, I feel part of a bigger global family. It's all very rewarding. So again, thank you for all your hard work you put into it. Enclosed is something for your cat TV for the KATZ network. I have similar outside for my three four-legged boys to watch, and it provides them and me with ongoing entertainment watching the variety of visitors. I know you have a feeder out on the deck, but this was more cute than just the regular cylinder type. Again, much appreciation to your work with the Academy. Happy holidays, Craig, Jack, Glenn, and Mick and me and my three cats, Craig, Jack, Glenn, and Mick. Jack, Glenn, and Mick are great cat names. All right, uh, so it is a bird feeder, I take it. Oh, and it is cute. What? Uh, okay, hang on. So the bottom bottom part, top part, and it's in the top part actually is a squirrel guard. Okay, squirrel guard. But then the bottom part is a snowman. How cool is that? And then it can just hang from the squirrel guard. And it's got these little uh, like Christmas tree ornament type decorations on it as well. But the actual snowman is made of bird seed and has a uh, uh, looks like raisins for buttons and a uh, little piece of, I don't know, maybe it is a carrot for a nose and some more raisins for eyes. Uh, and then a whole bunch of, um, uh, I, don't, I can't think of what type of seed that is. Uh, I know it though. Uh, uh, flax or something? I don't know. Anyway, very cute. And I love that it's got a little Christmas theme going on. And they, the cats are going to love it. And the squirrels probably going to love it too, even though it's got a squirrel guard. That is adorable. Um, thank you so much for that. That's going to be really fun to, to put out there and, and let everybody enjoy. You reminded me that in all the wind last night, I heard a banging on the house, repeated banging on the house. It occurred to me too late that the banging sound was the bird feeder uh, swinging against the house. Although, and so I meant to check on it. And I can't see the whole thing from here. It looks like it survived, though, uh, and the house, too, probably. It's still hanging there, and I can see the plastic on this side is intact. Hopefully on the side I can't see it as, as well. So, yeah, it looks like it made it. How about that? I was worried that it would just be, like, smashed to bits uh, with all the wind. So... All right, we're going to use that the bird feeder box to put all of this stuff in now. There we go. Uh, thank you. That's such a cute bird feeder. That is really sweet of you. Uh, oh, there's your note. Okay, good. I was a great accident. Story. Craig, Jack, Glenn, and Mick. Great names, Jack, Glenn, and Mick. I think the kittens are starting to get kind of worn out now. Uh, I, one of them went and laid down in the wicker cat basket. So cute. The other one's up there on the tree. I can zoom in on them. Uh, but we got to keep rolling, so let's see what we can do. <laughs> what are you looking for, Kahootie? 
Put that with the cards. There we go. Oh, and I think this is our first drop shipment of today's mailbag. Everything else has been sort of hand packaged, hasn't it? That's something. That might be a record. Please enjoy this holiday gift, K.A. Churu for the kids and mugs for Mr. A and DJ. May come in separate packages. Much love and Merry Christmas from Max and family. Aw, thank you to Max and family. And let's see what we got here. This must be mugs, right? Aw, uh, the description on the box is very cute. Let's see what the mugs look like before I spoil it. Oh. Okay, well, they're nicely packaged and they made it through intact, so that's a nice start. Oh, and I guess you saw the description because I was pointed at you. I didn't know that was there. Okay, that's fine. So we did spoil it. It says kissing cat mugs, and I believe that if we put them together, oh, look at that. That's so sweet. Boop. That's super cute. Thank you so much for that, Max. That's adorable. Um, Let's see, that is from Max and Family. So uh, I guess uh, if you also said Churu, it will turn up. If we get some unidentified Churu at some point, we can just credit Max for it. So uh, thanks, Max. This is this is too cute. There we go. Turn them towards the camera for a minute. Oh, look at that. They can even go like that. That's, that's good enough, right? What are you doing? You're so cute, but nobody can see you behind that flap. Playing in this and you're just making the cutest silly faces. Oh my goodness, such silly faces. That is a very large and fashionable hat you're wearing, Mr. Snowman. Uh, okay. This giant box says it is from the United Kingdom. And it's also got a ton of stickers and even uh, on the top some little cat paw prints that say K.A. How cool. All right. Let's see if we can open this up without, I don't know, damaging anything. We can figure out how to open it up. Hmm. Got quite a bit of tape on top. That's good because it made it here. There we go. Okay, that looks like a flat. This looks like a flat. All right, open right up. And a note right on top, too. Very good. Okay. Wow, that is some stockings. Meaty stocking, even. Hmm. The note, okay to read on the air. Perfect. Well, that's what we like to see. Oh, just in time. Hi, Kahootie. Oh, you got a piece of tape stuck on you. There, I got it. Okay, I got it. All right. Oh, what are you eating? Wait, no, that's a piece of paper. You don't want to eat that either. Oh, my goodness. What's with you? This is a beautiful picture of a foofy cat wearing a hat. It says, Me Meowy Christmas. Sorry, Meowy Christmas is what it says. How about that? To Mr. A and Dr. DJ, celebrate and enjoy from, uh, and then it's blank. And they wrote the word from, but not who they are. Of course, there is a, uh, a note here that wrap, uh, follow up on that. It says, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, the toys and treats as you see fit. Happy Christmas and Happy New Year. And for cats and kittens, Santa Claus, that's Claus with a W, Kitten Academy fans have a good Christmas. Mr. S. Well, thank you, Mr. S. And uh, you have such quite the Christmas uh, collection here. This is wonderful. Wow, so much stuff packed in here. So first off, we have meaty, meaty stockings, meaty stockings, meowy, meaty stockings, uh, whisker looking good, meaty treats, and a fun toy for your cat. That's so sweet. You said a whole bunch of those. I guess that's probably one for at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's every cat that we have attending the academy. So we at least got that going for us. But there's so much more in here. Uh, <laughs> this this packaging is great. This is a, a cat treat called Bonkers, which I've never heard of. And it says, Whiffy Good Snacky Snacks. Uh, Whiffy Good is a phrase I don't know if I've ever heard. Uh, and then uh, it says, Feed the Weird. And then the cat on their logo does indeed look like he is bonkers. That is, uh, that's really something. Bonkers. All right, oh, here, let's move some of this stuff out of here so you guys can see. There we go. Okay. Yeah, let's put these little legs down. There we go. Collapse that card. Put them over here for now. 
Good. Okay. That is utterly bonkers. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's so much more, actually. Lots more bonkers. That is completely bonkers. Oh, this one's different. Pollock and chicken flavor and a different cat on it. Look at that one. Those are some great. That's some awesome marketing right there. I love it. Uh, okay. And we got two more also. So that's a uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good. Good, good, good. That's one for everybody in this class, at least. I like that. Uh, here we have playful mice her paws. We got a bunch of those as well. Little brown and white mice with a lot of fur on them. I think that's going to be fun. They're the poofy version of mice, the long-haired mice. A uh, whole bunch of those as well. Oh, but wait, there's more. Uh, we got a couple of these very shiny little balls that are just out on their own. We can always use some more of these around. Oh, you want one now? Okay. Oh, oh, Cahooties is so good at soccer, aren't you? You want to get another one here? You're the real soccer mom. I know it's not usually what soccer mom means, but in your case. Okay, here we have a Yowie brand batting ball stack. Yes, it is a cat tower uh, with another cute little looking cat on the packaging here. And this is the kind that has the cutouts in the top. You see the top edge has these little oval cutouts, so it's easier for the cats to see the balls in the track. Uh, we've got one like that, I think, and that's uh, I think that's a nice addition to the usual way of doing it. Oh, look, one more meaty stocking. All right, that's meaty good. Plus, now we have a whole bunch of very colorful little toys. We've got whales. I think whales. Oh, it does say whales. Okay. We've got a bunch of blue whales. Aren't those cute? And they're so soft. My goodness, that's very plush. We've got uh, five of those. And one, two, three, four. Four big red crabs. Uh, here we go. A whole collection of crabs and whales. Those will be great in endowments. Oh, and they're very soft. The kittens are going to love those as well. Uh, plus, I threw out those two shiny balls already. And there's also two little uh, string wrap rattle mice, which I'm also just going to toss out here right now so you can. I got to put those bonkers away before you get in them because that I can see you're sniffing around. You know what to do with that. Perfect. These will make great endowment treats. Um, I think we are going to need to start a second box for endowments, though, with all this stuff going on here. Hang on. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Wow. That is a lot of stuff. That is, that is just wonderful. Um, all right. Where am I going to put this? i got to figure this out. Okay. For now, let's put these in with the endowments because I think it will be great to go with their endowments for the endowments for the uh, adopters. That's what I'm trying to say. And these stockings also. One, two, three, four. Yes, yeah, just the right number. Okay. There we go. Now, Kaluti really wants those treats, so we're gonna have to close this box up. And this can just be uh, put to, to go down with the other stuff. Here we go. We put this all together. Wow, it's been a long trip from the UK. These kittens are gonna love it. What a special thing, too. Those bonkers, that's really something. I, I gotta close the top on this because she wants those. So that's, uh, that must be good stuff. Woo. Powerful, powerful. Okay, these kids already broke into some treats. You already broke into some treats. You don't need to break into more. It's not lunchtime yet. Although, wow, we've been going for two hours and we still got a big pile left. <gasps> okay, well, let's keep it rolling. Okay, uh, let's see, this is a giant box. Might be a drop shipment, and it says Kid Academy Cahooties and new mom Edwina from Lisa for Kittens. Perfect. Oh, well, we know what this is, so this is easy for us to go through. Wonderful. Oh, Lisa for Kittens, thank you. Uh, the note says Magic Track 7 in total, one each for the Cahooties, one for Thimble. Seven out of seven from Lisa for Kittens. And that's exactly what it is. It's a box full of the Magic Cat Flexible Track and Ball Toy. I love these tracks. The Cat tracks are nice, but these are even more fun because you can move them around and put them in different shapes, and you can run them up and over stuff if you want to get a little bit of a slope in like the uh, like the other ones have. So awesome, awesome cat uh, tracks. Uh, so you, this is a box. Uh, you say seven. This is five in here. So one of those other boxes must be more of these. Uh, which is good because that'll keep the mailbag uh, moving moving right along. You keep us on rails like a track. Uh, so let's uh, let's get to the next stack. Actually, we're ready for another stack over here. You cannot break into those treats, okay? But keep trying. That's fine with me. All right. Hang on. Next stack. 
Actually, this next stack is just going to be oh, a handful of mostly loose stuff. Here we go. Mostly bags. Uh, okay. Mostly bags. Ugly bags of mostly water. Wait, no, that's just a Star Trek reference. That doesn't have any place here. Okay. Kitten Academy is what this says. Good, that's us. We got in the right place. Got that going for us. Ooh, Ooh what is this thing? Oh, springs and sticks. Oh, those are fun little play sticks. Is there a note? There is a note, a couple notes. Good, okay, cool. Uh, a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and a great New Year deploy as you see fit. From the Santee Taco Kitty on Discord to K.A. Aw, from Taco Kitty's Secret Santa. I see. So someone uh, got a Secret Santa on Discord, which is a thing that we do every year. And I guess they asked to have stuff sent to us. That's so sweet. So Taco Kitty uh, from the Santee, who is Taco Kitty on Discord. Thank you, Taco Kitty. Uh, and it is from Taco Kitty's Secret Santa as well, who also gets credit, uh, Elvin? I think it's Elvin, which is spelled Y-L-V-A-N, but you pronounce that Elvin, wouldn't you? I think you would. Uh, I, you know what? I shouldn't tell you how you would pronounce it. I'll tell you how I would pronounce it. I would pronounce it as Elvin. <laughs> anyway, deploy as you see fit. A very Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday, and a great New Year. All right, same to you, Taco Kitty. And to Elvin, why not? Okay, so this is a bag of uh, sticks with, um, uh, well, little pieces of fabric on them that have a leopard print. It's a lot like the big cat dancer one, but a small version to use with kittens or to have on hand easily. That's nice. And a ton of springs. There must be uh, 40. Wow, 40 springs, it says? I think that's what it says. 40 springs in there. That's a lot of springs. Of course, they're all stuck together. It doesn't look like as much as it is, but it is... Uh, these will also be great for, I would say, endowments. So I'm going to put those right in there and keep rolling. Let's move this thing along. This says Joy F, care of Kitten Academy. Okay, Joy. Oh, wait a minute. Is this? This can't be a repeat, though, is it? Uh, Joy F sent that amazing blanket. And no, it's not a repeat. It is a different amazing blanket. How many did you send? Wow, one was just blew me away. Uh, but now we've got two, and it's not the same. It is just a little bit different. Same idea, though, which is a pictures of the faculty on a custom, very soft blanket. And I know you sent me the link to these in case I decided I wanted to have some made for myself as well, uh, which is great, because these are really well-printed, soft blankets. I hope the color stands up to all the repeated washings it's going to get. And it says here in the corner, uh, love is a four-legged word. Uh, that's cute, a four-legged word. Is that what that says? Yeah, four-legged word. That is what it says. It's very cute. So here we have Ari, Maggie, so all the faculty again. We got uh, beautiful pictures. Um, you picked some really nice ones. Eddie's bright green eyes. The colors on these are spectacular. These are just so well printed. Uh, this says best Ow, 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 best friends. I'm being bitten through the blanket because that's a fun game. And on the bottom, it says, K.A. Professors of Maub. Uh, and then, whoop, I can't quite read the bottom there without stretching it out even more. I love dogs. Is that what that says? Uh, yeah, that's what that says. All right. I love dogs. Cool. All right. A little random and funny. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. In fact, I love it. All right. Uh, thank you for that. I, I like turtles. That just reminds me of the kid. I like turtles. Remember the zombie kid meme? Everybody knows zombie kid from the news report. And she's like, oh, tell us about zombies. And he's like, I like turtles. All right, I love dogs. All right, I do love dogs. Uh, we keep talking about that, but we don't have to get off on that tangent right now. That's just funny. That cracks me up. I like it. Okay, thank you so much, Joy F. That is so sweet. Okay. All right, there's probably a note in here, but not yet. Hang on. 
Merry Christmas. Oh, this is Merry Christmas and Happy New Year deploy as you see fit from the Santee Taco Kitty. All right, from Taco Kitty Secret Santa. So here we have a, a bag of Charlie Balls, the good stuff, and a box that contains, oh, I think this is full of Mylar Balls. Let's find out. Whoa, so it is stuffed in there. Wow, I don't want those all to pop out. They are really packed in tight. All right, once again, very tight packing on this stuff. Uh, so uh, that's also perfect for endowments or to a new kitten room. So thank you so much, Taco Kitty. And next up, ooh, okay, this must be the Churu from uh, Max, right? It was from Max. Ooh, a holiday edition Churu. What? How fun. Okay, holiday edition. Let's see if there is a note that says oh, that that's correct or not. Um, wow, they really, the guys at Amazon, that's almost aggressive. They were like, I just crumple this note up and throw it in there. Now, there's not actually a note. So uh, like we said, we are going to give Max the credit for that one. Max, thank you. I think it was Max, wasn't it? Well, now Max gets the credit either way, whether it was Max that was supposed to or not. Uh, but yeah, Holiday Edition Churu. Thanks, Max. Hi, who's again attacking my shirt? Come on, I'm in that shirt. Who is it? Who? Who would dare? Who would dare? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're gonna go to your new home tomorrow, and I'm gonna miss you so many. You wanna do a goodbye wave right now in the middle of mailbag? Oh, people are gonna have to hunt for that. Okay. Bye bye. Bye, mom. Bye, everybody. Okay. I know you're not leaving until tomorrow, but there we go. Now we got it. Now you want to fight me? You want to fight me? Huh? You better get all that fight for me out of your system. Okay. Uh, oh, wait. I'm, I don't have to get up yet. There's still more. Still more. All right. It seems like uh, we've kind of gone into the lightning round, though. This part's going a little bit quicker. Let's see here. This says, a gift for you. Welcome to Kitten Academy Thimble. You and your kittens will be safe and loved until you go to your forever homes. Here are some blankets to help keep you and your kittens warm from Frozen Tundra Crew. All right, it knows all about keeping warm. Frozen Tundra Crew. And these are, in fact, a bunch of receiving blankets. Perfect. Oh, they're very cute. This has uh, some penguins, excuse me, penguins wearing uh, hats. It has Christmas presents, snowflakes. We've got some stylized reindeer and some polar bears and a snowman and a plaid. Uh, very, very pretty. Thank you so much for that. Uh, those will obviously get deployed in due time. All right. Frozen Tundra Crew, thank you. Where am I putting this stuff out? Yeah, these piles. We'll figure them all out. We're just going just gonna to figure it out when we get there. Now, at this point, it's gone off the rails. Okay, for um, Lisa Four Kittens. Good. I feel like I should know what's in this already. Was there something that was pending? I don't know. Ooh, what is this? It's from Go Cat. It is the fur thing. Wow, I don't think I've seen this one before, but it is uh, just like some things that we have seen. It's a piece of real fur with feathers coming out the end. Uh, that's like the toy that you see cahoots carrying around all the time, isn't it? And it says, go cat fur thing for Eddie as Thimble, well, for uh, Eddie or Thimble as you see fit. From Lisa Four Kittens. All right, Lisa Four Kittens, thank you. I know everybody talks about the bird that cahoots carries around, but it's, it's one of these, right? It's a piece of fur with feathers out, coming out of it, I think. It looks a lot like this one. I thought I would see it if I just looked around, but it must be in a room. Uh, so, uh, yeah, for Eddie or for Thimble, I think it would be really good for Thimble uh, to take with her. Well, maybe, maybe not, actually. She hasn't shown much preference for toys yet, either. She only cares about, I don't know, uh, food, uh, hissing, and uh, uh, petting. So, uh, we'll see. I'm going to write Thimble or Eddie. She really loves to be petted. She really loves to hiss at people, and she really loves to eat. Uh, well, they're not treats, just food. So yeah, uh, she's a, she's an odd one. She's gonna take a little while to figure out. A very neat cat, uh, which is fun. It's fun that even after so many years of doing this, we can still come across cats that uh, a little different. Well, they're all a little different, I guess. But uh, somebody that just doesn't fit the mold at all. Uh, all right, let's see what we have here. Ooh. 
right? And yellow, and it says the note on oh, it's a pineapple, it's a winter pineapple. What is going on? Hang on, you guys will all get a chance to see this. It's adorable. There's a note, the note, okay to read on stream. Perfect. I love it. And it says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, look how cute this thing is. Uh, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, thank you for all that you do to give mom cats and their kittens wonderful lives. Also, Thank you for maintaining the live stream so that we can all enjoy the kitten's antics. I know it's hard work and takes a lot of your time. It is appreciated. I fall in love with every new class of kittens, and I wish I had room in my house for all of them. Of course, there is not enough room for all of them, and my own cats, Stu and Artie, already take all my free time. Yeah, I know that feeling. Um, Goody's kittens are particularly adorable. They are at such a wonderful zoomy age. Enclosed are some items for the cats to enjoy. Aren't you glad there's no chocolate? <laughs> the bed, which is shrink wrapped. Uh, well, this is whoa, very compressed. Uh, oh, but there's a picture of it. That's perfect. It is a, is it a bed? Yeah. Yeah. It says four cahoots. Um, and thank goodness you have sent a picture of it. It's a, it's a big puffy uh, bed blanket thing. It says blanket for cahoots. Uh, interesting though. Hang on, I just want to read the, no, oh, okay, good, premium size, okay. The picture that you've included of the blanket for Cahoots has a, a totally artificial cat sitting on it, uh, which is also interesting because it's obviously a photograph and they just put a fake cat on there for the picture. Um, okay, the bed, which is shrink wrapped, is described as reducing anxiety and creating a sense of security, which sounded perfect for Cahoots. Well, that's true. And she loves a soft bed. You've seen that, right? That's a, a little different for a mom cat, which is nice. Also, for Cahoots is a fold-out accordion ball track, which she's enjoyed at the Academy. Time for her to have her very own. That is the magic organ style, uh, which has been in the kitchen because I need to put a new ball in it, but it is still there. Um, time for her to have her very own. That's so sweet of you, and you've already labeled it too, which is wonderful. The pineapple is self-explanatory. Well, it mostly is, except I'd really like someone to explain why it's wearing a scarf. In what place are there pineapples that need scarves? Well, here, I guess. Yeah, okay, it actually works out very well. Uh, and the blanket for cahoots, can I tuck this in here somehow so it stays? There we go. It also says cahoots on the label. You've done a great job of labeling this stuff. Best wishes for a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from Dorothy A. Dorothy A on Discord. Well, Dorothy A, thank you so much. Uh, you sent some wonderful endowments, which I'm going to put over here with the accumulation of endowments. And uh, this is a very cute little squishable uh, pineapple. It actually is a Squishmallow brand. How about that? Well, now we know a little more about it. It's, it's, I just want to keep squishing it. They're so cute. Okay. Uh, yeah, pineapple wearing a scarf. What could be more appropriate? That is too perfect. Dorothy A, thank you. All right, let's put that over here in this pile of things to take around with us when we want to figure out where we're putting everything. All right, next pile. Oh, okay. Stretch out just a little bit. We're getting close here. We're getting very close. I can guess what this big box is. I'm thinking it's the rest of those ball tracks. And it does say from Lisa Four Kittens, but there's something on top here that we're gonna have to open first. Uh, which is wrapped in this beautiful plaid paper with some sparkly Christmas trees to seal it. I thought I might be able to tear it open rather than cut. Oh, well, I guess I can. All right. Ooh, I see socks. All right, good. You never have too many socks, can you? I don't think you can. Uh, this is, oh, wow. Again, Christmas pineapple socks. Wow. That, how is this a thing? I don't know how it's a thing. Everything's a thing these days. Uh, it is pineapples that are wrapped in Christmas ornaments that are sparkly. Christmas, I say ornaments, they're Christmas tree lights on pineapples. Look at that. How cool. And a card that, uh, let's see, has an address on it, so we'll try not to show that to everybody. Oh, wow. It's a very fat cat that is, uh, he's laying on the floor after having eaten all the cookies off of a cookie plate. Wearing a Santa hat, and uh, also he's got a Santa belt, but he's had to undo it because he ate so many cookies. And he's licking his lips, and it's uh, like a great Photoshop. That is fantastic. Um, there we go. As you can see. Oh, hi. Okay, well, you help yourself then, buddy. Where did you come from? Uh, it says, going to need a bigger chimney. Yes, indeed. Merry Christmas. 
Mr. A, Dr. DJ and faculty. Thank you for all you do for the feline community and us people and other critters. This card reminded us of Professor Custard. Yes, indeed. So we had to send it. We also couldn't resist the Christmas pineapple socks. Wear them mismatched and in good health. Perhaps they will help with a convenient and safe birthing for Thimble. Stay warm and cozy from Jen and Blaine, uh, Gigi Moss and Gigi Mons Bro. Gigi Moss? Gigi Moss Bro. I think that's it. And Steve the Sugar Glider. Of course, Steve the Sugar Glider. So thank you so much. There we go. Uh, I, those socks are great. The pineapple, the Christmas pineapple stuff. There's more than one item uh, of Christmas pineapple stuff. Who knew? All right. Yes. Okay. As we guessed, whoops, uh, put that over here. Okay. As we guessed, this does contain the uh, magic cat, the remaining five, six, seven. Yeah. Something else in here, too. So let's check the notes. Right. Here we go. Not a note, not a note, not magic track, seven total, one for each of the Cahooties, one for Thimble. Titan Tower for Thimble. All right. This is the uh, giant four level ball track, Titan Tower. And that's for Thimble. I'm going to write her name on it so that we don't forget that. And I'm going to put these on top of the big box. Here we go. Let's write that right meow before it's too late. Uh, thimble, thimble, thimble. Hopefully, once uh, she's done taking constant care of her kids and, um, you know, starts recovering a little bit, she turns into a playful mom cat that likes all this stuff. I guess we'll find out. Okay, uh, time for me to have the last, the last stack, guys. All right, let's see. We made it through. Oh, oh, heavy. Oh, very heavy. Oh, and not bad grip. Okay, hang on. Oh, oh, oh. No, get this get out of here. Okay, good. All right, we made it. Whew. All right. Whew. All right. All right. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah, oh, full disclosure, though. If you sent something and you expected it to be here for Christmas and you're not going to see me open it in this last pile, uh, it might still be at the post office. I did not make it over there this morning. I made it over there yesterday. So there's a little gap in between right now and uh, where a couple things may have arrived. I didn't, I didn't want to go at the last minute, even though I found out they are open today. Thank you uh, for letting me know. But uh, I feel bad if I'm uh, sort of supporting the idea of making everybody work on Christmas Eve day and stuff. I just I don't want to be the guy that's uh, responsible for making that happen or somebody's uh, metrics, you know, be another customer that visited that day. So the next year they're like, look, we got this many customers. We got to stay open today. Uh, I, just, I just don't want to be it. So, uh, so I did. And that's that. Uh, that's all there is to it. Okay. Well, that and I needed extra coffee this morning. Uh, lots of extra coffee. So that was also a factor. Packer. I think I've been talking so much now. I've been going for so long. Oh, wow. This is some cool packaging. we got the note uh, taped to the inside flap, and uh, it's, uh, it's actually taped all the way on. A little pull me out. Pull me out. Spelled me out. I love it. Uh, nice. This is a very well, it's a box with a design to it. All right. Let's see. The note first. It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I have a terrible habit of procatenating, and I'm down to the wire. The tinies and cahoots are about to graduate and leave the academy. I hope this package arrives in time so the endowments I've sent can go home with them. Additionally, there are some Christmas items for the two of you. The items tied at the red, black, snowflake ribbon are for you and DJ, and each has a tag either on the front or the back so you know for whom they are intended. The bottom layer are the endowments. Well, here, let's dig in a little bit. There's also a card here. Read later, not on camera. Okay, well, in that case, I'll put it in my pocket. Um, right back here, I think. Maybe, does it fit? <gasps> Might be just a tiny bit too wide for this pocket. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep. Yep. No, it's exactly the same size as the pocket. All right, there we go. That should stay out. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hang on. Let me dig in. This is such a, a perfectly put-together box. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, 
Uh, the bottom layer of the enamel. Okay, so on top you got stuff for for uh, DJ and I. Look at this, more sponges. I, what? Who knew? Kitchen sponge. Uh, these are cat sponges. Uh, I don't know why that's a thing. Did I talk about sponges at some point? That's more sponges, and they're cat shaped, and they are very spongy. And uh, yeah, perfect. Uh, we also have what are these for your home? Uh, a start water laundry soap. Set these on top. They are float and bob. Do not put into the dryer. I see. It's a lint and pet hair catching filter. Wow, it looks like as it goes in the washing machine and the water flows through it and it catches all the lint and the pet hair. Hmm. Well, I can see that. I can see it's got a floater on top and then a net. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to try those out. Those are going to be very interesting. Um, yes, okay, let's see. Uh, these are five dancing cat pen holders, and they're little cats that have their arms in the air to hold up a pen, which must balance perfectly in there. Wow, I don't know uh, whether that's actually going to work. They, it's hard to imagine they can balance so well, but maybe they do. They're so cute, though. I mean, super, super cute. I might put those on uh, DJ's desk and one uh, next to the bed and see how she notices them and likes them. Uh, we have the City Journal, Riverton's own community newspaper. Oh, well, that's exciting, too. I am excited to... Wow, February is National Dental Month, but that's from a, a vet, Stone Ridge Veterinary. Oh, cool. Okay, I'm excited to check that out. Uh, I was hoping to get to what you're about to describe as I'm reading it, but it's all... Wow, there's a lot in here. Sweet Chaos, Delightfully Disruptive, Drizzled Popcorn. Wow, drizzled with sweet white frosting, iced gingerbread, and peppermint crunch. Ooh, that sounds really good. Okay, now we're to it. Uh, there's a snowflake, uh, the bottom layer of the endowments, there's a snowflake gift sack for Miss Cahoots and each kitten tied with blue snowflake ribbon. Yes, it is beautiful. Oh, look at that, each one has its own little gift bag and it's tied up with a blue ribbon and it's got their names on it. It says, packed with love for hoodwink. And it's full of all kinds of things. And there's one uh, for each of them. Oh, also this for us. It uh, looks like a cat lint roller. Pet hair remover. That's exactly what it is. Cool. And another thing for us that says perfect nails. It's a cat nail file. Hmm. That's cute. Okay. Oh, wait more. Oh, my goodness. It never ends. Uh, this appears to be a bamboo kitty trivet. Trivet. I don't know the word trivet, but it looks like to me a pot holder. Uh, so that's what I'm going to go with. Is that what a trivet is? It's got a smiling cat face on it. That's adorable. Hang on. It keeps going. We have a smart rotating ball, the Pet Gravity brand. Yeah, we've seen it. I've got one of those somewhere. I see there's also one in the gift bags. Uh, also a cookie cutter shaped like a cat. And I think they've also got cookie cutter shaped like cats, which you're about to describe. Okay, now the rest is truly just the endowment. Oh, wait, no, no. Oh, it keeps going. These are little tiny model titties. Uh, oh, I have a table for them to sit on. How cute. That's exactly what it is, and they're kissing. Aw, it's little kissing kitties. One sits on the table, and the other one reaches up and kisses. Look, you can see the picture right there. That's adorable. Okay, now, surely. All the rest is just in down. You sent so much stuff, my goodness. Uh, okay, you should be able to see what's inside. Yes, indeed. Uh, it's one for each, but you described the, the stuff. It is a kitty cookie cutter for their adooters, a catnip plushie toy, an electronic rechargeable ball toy, five Charlie balls, and two iridescent crinkle balls. That's perfect. And there's one for each, and they're labeled, and their labels have these little snowflakes, and they're sparkly, and they're printed. Wow, what printer makes these? Packed with love for Flim Flam. Seriously, how did you print these? I am mystified now. That is really something. I I want to know more about that. They're all printed like that. Wait, how did that happen? You can't just print stuff like that in a printer, can you? Especially not with all those sparkles on it. Hmm. Uh, okay, uh, there are also two bags of yummy sweet chaos popcorn for you two to share. My mom lives here with us and she highly recommends it. I love the name, Sweet Chaos. It's exactly how I perceive your home with all those kittens zooming and playing all day and half the night. We hope you have a Merry Christmas and hope you enjoy everything. 
If there's anything you're not too keen on, feel free to share it with someone else or donate it to KACON next year. As you see fit comes to mind. We'll be watching each day as always. Love Kitten Academy. Please give Kahootie and her kittens some extra kisses and tell them it's from us. Smiley face hugs from Utah. Tanya. Uh, Tanya Leo, a.k.a. Tanya with a J on YouTube. Tanya with a J on YouTube. All right, Tanya and Leo, thank you so much. Wow, that is really, really just, it's wonderful. It's generous. You sent so much stuff, and it's also nicely packaged. Even the box itself with a little, uh, like a pocket to put the note into. I'm not going to put it back. Uh, I, I wasn't really trying either. I was just trying to illustrate Um uh, beautiful, all of it, wonderful. Thank you so much, Tanya with a J. All right. Ooh, uh, okay. Um, yeah, and it's good that in my life I've known a Tanya with a J, otherwise I would probably think it was pronounced Tanja or something, because uh, I'm just, I'm not too bright about these things, but ah, that's one I just happen to have experienced, so we know. Uh, okay, how am I going to do this? I guess I'm just going to take this whole box of endowments and move it right over here on top of all the endowment stuff that's already going downstairs and just leave all this stuff out because we're, we're in the final stretch here, everybody. Uh, and then I get to get up and take a big final stretch. Uh, all right, this one says Joe and Halfers. All right, Joe and Halfers. The Knife Guard. Okay, everybody. That's become a thing. I think most of the time I don't really need it, do I? Oh, nicely wrapped stuff. This may just end up under the Christmas tree then. Oh, it says open last, please, though. So maybe you want us to open it all now. That does seem like it is uh, instructions to take care of this right this minute. But look at these beautiful boxes. Wouldn't those look nice under the tree? Hmm. Well, let's see what the note says, because if the note doesn't say anything in particular about what's in it or uh, to open it now, I still might, maybe we put it off for a Christmas tree mailbag when we open those things, right? But let's see what the note says. The note. Okay to read on stream. I love it. Oh, all right. Halvers and I wanted to wish you both a wonderful holiday season. Both of you work tirelessly to give these mom cats and their kittens a safe place to be born and raised and then find loving and permanent homes for them, all while sharing their journeys with all of us. No small task. We hope these small gifts bring smiles to your faces. May your coffee free joe and her cat halpers yes halpers has given you uh forgiven you for mispronouncing her name she decided it's unique to you and that's okay i'm shocked that she is quite judgmental meowy catness uh oh halpers how do you say your name halpers 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 <gasps> is it halpers like half oh my goodness all right well uh either way i'm going to continue to get it wrong uh, i'm also i'm going to put this stuff under the tree because it's too pretty and we will do an under the tree uh, opening stuff uh, as soon as we figure out what DJ might possibly be here. Okay? And if you really need me to open it sooner, you let me know. But, uh, hey, the uh, clock's ticking on that, okay? Because we have two more boxes. Uh, this one, very heavy. Uh, only one guess what's in this. It could be so heavy and square. But maybe there's a note. Oh, morning sunrise. Okay, so we know this is from. It's from John a.k.a. Morning Sunrise, and yes, indeed, Chicken Feast Classic Pate, and I think we know what to do with this. Uh, we will feed it to cats. They will love it, uh, because that's exactly what they always eat here at the Academy. So thank you, Morning Sunrise. And the final box. All right. Uh, also very heavy. <clears throat> so I think we can probably guess there's more of the same here. Let's find out. Yes, indeed. Uh, one, two, all right. Oh, oh, ooh, and a little bit of a switched up here. Uh, we have chicken, uh, Gerber chicken baby food, chicken and gravy baby food, one of our favorite treats for the cats and lots of it. Welcome, Thimble and her kittens, the usual practical items from Raylene and Zenathon. Well, I should have gaffed, I should have gaffed. Uh, Raylene and Zenathon, thank you very much. 
Uh, and then it says, from, see gift message. Okay, well, that was the gift message. That's very strange how that got formatted that way, but okay. Raylene and Zenithon, thank you for more of the usual. Again, I love the practical gifts. I love that uh, when uh, when she had her little babies and we were having to feed them, the, you were right on messaging me like, hey, can we send you some KMR? And I said, no, please, I hope we don't have to keep doing this. <laughs> Uh, and in fact, we didn't. So I'm glad that instead of that, you sent some uh, some more regular food and some more treats. That's so sweet of you guys. Thank you so much for thinking of us that way. Uh, marathon mailbag. And it only took uh, like basically two hours once you factor out the fact that I was eating for the first 15 minutes. <laughs> Sorry about that, everybody. Uh, not too bad, really, but it is going to take me a little while to get all this put away, to put the nicely wrapped stuff under the Christmas tree for DJ to see, have a real Christmas morning, possibly. Uh, she did say there was a chance that she might be home or be able to come home if, if it's not too busy at the hospital. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't count on it. It turns out we, we might end up doing our Christmas maybe Monday night or something. Uh, which is fine. You know, again, we don't stand on formality here. We don't really, you know, we don't make a big deal out of any particular date. Uh, you know, we do Christmas next month and it would be just as fun. Uh, what is time anyway? Who knows? So uh, uh, I think Einstein uh, famously said time is uh, that uh, time is what's measured by a clock. That's that's. Uh, yeah. So that's what it is. Uh, I'm going to give Einstein credit for that. It was either Einstein or, I don't know, Lincoln, uh, one of those people that's always quoted. Uh, could have been Lincoln. Sure, why not? Okay, let me get this stuff put away. Oh, okay, up and down. I'm also going to get Kahuti brought up to her room first with a dish of food. That way she can eat and I can have the door open and I don't have to worry about her running as I'm trying to go in and out so often. So let me, before I even put anything away, Besides, all the kittens are napping, so and before I put anything away, let me grab a dish of food for mom here, and then we'll put her up in her private room, and then I can have the door open, and the faculty will come in and help inspect all this stuff real quick as it gets put away. That's our plan. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, I guess I already put the food trays away. Good. Okay, good. Let me go right on out and grab one and fill it up. Also, let me zoom in on all those kids right up there in the tree. Where is that zoom? Camera three. They're all watching. Well, not all. The ones on top are watching. I see both of you looking. Oh, they're not. They're, they're both nodding off. They just happen to be facing this way. All right. Well, that works. Okay. Whoa. Very proud of yourself, aren't you? Maggie's beside herself wanting to meet you, and I just put a picture online. She wrecked that card already. Very proud of herself. <clears throat> so I'm going to take her mom, and I'm going to take uh, Kahuti upstairs, and then we'll open the doors, and I'm sure Maggie will be right in. The kittens are all looking for lunch, too. I can see that. And then we'll put mail bag away.
we go. There you go, kids. Now some food. Oh, Maggie, you have just been chomping at the bit to come in here and check all this stuff, haven't you? Is it chomping at the bit or champing at the bit? I guess people say different things, don't they? All right. Okay, time to get all this stuff put away. Maybe take a little break and then go sort them down with my head. Can use some of these bigger boxes uh, to put the endowments into, so those definitely hung on to. Me. These were going to go down with the generic endowments, though, weren't they? Oh my goodness, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, we'll figure it out. There we go. Oh, all these people treats. Yum, people treats. That's easy to figure out where those go. In my belly. You want to play with something here? Let's see. I need to start a pile of things to carry upstairs together. That's oops. The box is going up pile too. Couldn't I? All right. Okay. These have got to be treated carefully. Put those sponges under the sink just still wrapped. I think that'll be cute when DJ goes looking for a sponge and finds those and they're all nicely wrapped up. Let's see. All right, this is to go upstairs. This is not to go upstairs. This is to go upstairs. So let's make a little upstairs box. Yes? Now I think it's here. Christmas tree stuff to go under the Christmas tree. Thank you, Frozen Tundra crew. Making our Christmas tree look like it's actually a Christmas tree.
It actually looks so nice already, just having stuff uh, like it's really cool under the Christmas tree, and it's just from all of you. And uh, it just it really sets the scene. I love it. Thank you. Thank you for that. That's special all by itself, you know? So let's see, stuff to go upstairs then. We've got a box going in the kitchen of that. This is all going upstairs. This is not bad. This is, and those are, oh, okay, come back. Let's go in again. these notes do go downstairs, but how are we going to organize this stuff? This goes over here. Let's see. Well, we need some extra boxes downstairs. We can go down to the empty box, put the letters in there, that makes that easy. Cool, we can put this in there too, we can carry it all down together. Let's all go downstairs. These boxes are a little smaller than what we need. They can go the other way. Packing material. Perfect. Okay, let's take this over this direction.
chew on, bud. Out, but oh, here's the newbie, Maggie. You want your newbie, Maggie? Right at you. Oh, it does fit. Okay, cool. Look at that. I put the Christmas ball into the old magic organ. Now, what if organ in magic organ really means accordion? I mean, it's just a bad translation. That would make sense, wouldn't it? downstairs someplace or another. So let's start with that.
I'm very thoughtful, Custer. Are you up to something? Maggie? What are you doing both those feats? What are you doing there? Are you some kids to play with? I'm taking this back. You guys can play with that all you want, though. Wow, it's fun now, huh? Okay, well, I'll keep going. Okay, well, hey, uh, that is everything for mailbag. I, well, you know, it's everything for mailbag. I still got to go down to the basement now and do all the sorting. Uh, but it is what it is. We'll get to that in due time. I think first I need to take a break and probably eat some more. We need lots of food to get through all that. Uh, but thank you, all of you, for joining us for mailbag and for just everything, for everybody, for us and for the kids. It was wonderful, and I hope it was wonderful for you. And uh, maybe what we can do, oh, I don't know if the post office will be open on Monday. I saw on our calendar that counts as Christmas for some people. So uh, Monday, Tuesday, someday, I don't know exactly when. We'll open the stuff that's under the Christmas tree and maybe anything that showed up uh, meanwhile at the post office. We'll figure it out. Wow, they were loving that ball I put in there. That's the one from the mailbag today. Perfect fit. Uh, yeah, but anyway, I guess that's about it. So thanks. I'm going to end the mailbag archive. Of course, if you're watching live, you don't have to go anywhere. <laughs>